Oh, there oh. you go. All right. All right. What you guys got? What you? I think six of the years. Uh, all that. Running through the city with the loud pack. I'm about that. Real good games this week, boy. Glare on. We started off a tad bit late, but we're here at the Buck Flair Show. Mm -hmm. I'm your co-host, Dennis Holmes. I'm here with Ace, the MVP. What's up, y'all? Thanks for having me, guys. All right. We got uh, Eric, the statistician guru. Yeah, fun to be back, man. It's good to be back. That's good to hear. (laughs) Uh, We also got um, D-Man in the building, a.k.a. Taysom Hill is not my quarterback. (laughs) <laughs> What's up, everyone? And fuck Sean Payton. I know I said it before, but still fuck Sean Payton. You got that good movie coming out, though. Yeah, they're playing like Kevin James. And like Sean Payton and Kevin James, they're not going to look like, yes, Kevin James it is big. But Sean Payton's ego, he is big. That's the reason they take Kevin James. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Uh, we also got the real Slim Brady in the building. I'm just looking forward to talking about this week. And uh, we have the superstar of the hour, Buck Flair. What's going on, everybody? I'm glad to be back on the uh, Bill Flair uh, <laughs> telecast He's this stupid. week uh, after that <laughs> great, great win. Shout out to our sponsors tonight, uh, Jack and Coke, always a, a sponsor of the show. And I had a new sponsor step in after last week's game. Because uh, there was so much going on in that game after the game, after the fact that uh, uh, I bought went out and bought this uh, new box of cookies. It was uh, this new box of cookies right here. If you ever try these right here, yeah, this is called, yeah, uh, out here. It's called uh, Little Ref, Little Wheels Ref Cookies, Little Wheel, Real Ref Cookies. <laughs> it, oh, it's like an oatmeal cream pie, but look for the name. Little Will Refs Cookies. <laughs> I never heard so many problems about the refs in that ball game this past week. But uh, And they were still talking about it before you came on, Dennis. Still talking about the refs. Well, that's because it's a national thing now. It's not just Bills fans. See, that that's where you, you – I mean, it's all good to clown, but when it becomes a national thing, you got to start taking a, a, a closer look at those things and wondering, hmm. Yeah, now we got a referee pandemic. Yeah, I yeah, think that. Tom Brady's career has all been about the referees, huh? I mean, I, I'm not saying that in general, but, I, uh, uh, you know, I can share some points with you where I've been calling out the refs all year long, and it's not even just Bills games. I mean, I, you know, we talked about the Pittsburgh game on Monday night against Chicago a, a month oh, ago. Man. The referees were horrible in that game. Uh, yeah, the hip check. Yeah, it, there's just been so many other games that the referees are, uh, you know, are, are making a difference. So, you know. Those mafias are going to scream loud about it, of course, but, you know. Shout other- out to Kellen Lane, and please like and share this show. I know he was kind of uh, in heart and spirit up there, probably just uh, having a cocktail after watching his bills uh, after watching his bills lose to the Bucks. He already knew that Buck Flair would be, uh, be in heaven with him on that day because that was just a great, great game. Uh, Dennis had a great uh, – TikTok that he put up. I love that TikTok. Yeah, I think, thanks for uh, giving me. People don't know that you actually give me the timestamp of these TikToks. They they actually think yeah, that I yeah. get them. Uh, people don't know you actually give me the timestamp on. Yeah. Shout out they to Popeye's it. Chicken. 
Dennis said he was going to be late. He went to the Miami in the Sixers game, even though the Sixers got beat and uh, Popeye's chicken was still open. So I said, shout out to Popeye's chicken tonight, even though it might take you 30 minutes to get some chicken nowadays. <laughs> yeah, that's about where you go. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, great, great week. I can't wait to put up the stats. Buck Flair last week, 12 and 2. Oh, me and you both. 12 and 2. Nice. Big, 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 big week for uh, him and King Czar. Ooh, it's getting closer. I believe I was closer. 11 and 3. Yep, a lot of people were 11 and 3 last week. Uh, man, nest of the week, Dennis. Go ahead, let's get it going. With uh, I know you're eating uh, chicken wings right now. Who is the nuts of the week? Oh, can I go on this one? I got a nuts of the week too, for sure. The nuts well, of the let week. Buck, me, Buck Flair go first. Go the ahead. Nuts of the week for me is one of the games that I lost. One of the games that Dennis talked about. How do you get fired on your off day, and then you come out and play, and you lose to the fucking Atlanta Falcons, mm. the Carolina Panthers. You are definitely the nuts of the week after what you did on your bye week, and you couldn't even beat the fucking Falcons at home <laughs> with that defense. Yeah, I picked Carolina. And too. I am just going to say they are my nuts. Cam, Cam, nuts of the week, Cam. Dennis is guy. He's the nuts <laughs> of the week for me. Uh, All right, Eric. Go ahead and tell me who you think the nuts of the week. The Las Vegas Raiders. Now, let me explain why I say the Raiders. If you recall the last time that they played the Chiefs, they got beat at home 41 to 14. This time around, they got beat 48 to 9. You mean to tell me that between these two games, they gave up 89 points to Kansas City while only scoring 23? Are you kidding me? That should not happen as a professional team. You get outscored by over 60 points in two games. And this is the same Kansas City team who, before this winning streak, was three and four and bottom of the AFC West. The Raiders, Broncos, and Chargers all had better records than the Chiefs. So now this Kansas City team, who was three and four, is now leading the AFC West. Man, I thought the problems after John Gruden would stop. It looks like the Raiders now have a lot of problems, both offensively and defensively. And if they don't shape up, they're in big trouble on missing the playoffs. Well, yeah, Raiders are who we thought they were. You're not wrong. Anybody else got a nuts of the week? Boy, uh, yeah, ahead, was, ahead, my nuts of the week right there was the Raiders, but it wasn't because of – you know, the two games, which I was aware of about the point differential, but it was about how they came out in Kansas City and they had a big beat on the logo. Mm. That's just something you don't do. You don't come out there on another team's logo and have a meeting and, and you know, be dancing on it and stomping on it, whatever they were doing that was trying to instigate, you know, some nonsense with the Chiefs. And that's it did. It worked. It worked, didn't it? Yeah, it definitely. Yeah, well, yeah. It riled the Chiefs <laughs> up and the Chiefs came right out and they put a spanking on them. They said, you know, you want to try that again? You know, this is this is the result. And then on mm -hmm. the way out of, of them walking out of the stadium, the Ch the Chiefs were playing uh, the wheels on the bus go round and round. So hopefully that sent them a message, and uh, they won't do that again. <laughs> you ain't kidding. That was terrible. <laughs> my nuts of the week is uh, one of my favorite coaches, Matt Rule. Oh, Matt Rule. You, have, you haven't got it right with not one quarterback. And you fired your offensive coordinator like it was his fault. Come to find <laughs> out it was your, it's your fault. And your defense is starting to stink. Mm. Matt Rule, you're going to have to get it together. There's nobody's been pushing for you more than me, but to this week, you are the nuts of the week. Matt Rule. 
Uh, I agree with you. Uh, my nuts of the week is the Lions and the SBN O line suck, though. But shout out to Broncos. That was an emotional win for Demarius Thomas and rest in peace, Demarius Thomas. 38 to 10, like beginning um, 10 men on the field. And the Lions, they're not nice. going to get together, though. That was an emotional win for the Broncos. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, that was a good win, and, and and I didn't think the Lions were going to win that anyways because they were they were missing yeah. six, seven players. Right, but it was emotional win for the Broncos yeah. anyway. Right. I think it was a good win though. Yeah. Well, you picked the damn line. What the hell? You yeah. picked Detroit again? Yeah, I picked them, and that was <laughs> I, I, picked oh. them, I picked them before I had obviously learned of the COVID situation and learned of the Demarius Thomas situation. I mean. That, that yeah. came later on. You know, we, we do our picks on Wednesday. Both of those reports came out on Thursday and Friday. So, yeah, I just kind of rolled with it. I didn't change the pick or nothing. Didn't you say yeah, you they, weren't uh, going to pick that, Detroit that, anymore? That, it wasn't COVID. It was the flu. Or the flu, but, yeah. That's what they say. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, okay. probably COVID. <laughs> well, and also, didn't you say you weren't going to though, I don't know what happened, though, but I heard about this whole Zach Taylor in overtime. Zach Taylor. What was that, uh, Eric? Did I say I wasn't going to pick him no more? Yeah, I've been sliding him in there. Dallas, you got anybody that's next of the week for you? Yes, I do. All right. Chase Claypool, you fucking moron. <laughs> Ooh, that's just, a good one. just what the fuck? I, I know. Apparently, my message not received well, whatever Mike Tomlin tried to do. It's not Tomlin's fault. Chase Claypool. His Ooh. ego is merging with like Randy Moss and Odell Beckham and Terrell Owens, except he's having the fucking production of a Wes Welker in Denver. It's the best way I can put it. I mean, just he's doing nothing and then celebrating a seven yard gain where the clock is running while they're trying to spike the ball on a potential game tying drive. And then you're going to flip out on the offensive lineman and throw him under the bus for trying to get your ass set so you can get up there and spike the ball. No. Shut the fuck up and play. Your your ego's out of control. That was a good well, one. Well, this is the thing, Dallas. You named all the wide receivers, but I think he's just playing like a typical Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver. <clears throat> I'm not wide denying receiver. that. I'm claiming like they've had a track record of that. You know, like um, Burr. Yes, we, we thought Brown. about it. We but, did, no, 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 no. It ain't, that ain't it. Juju Smith-Schuster. We talked about it last night. Yeah. San Antonio Holmes. San Antonio Holmes, Juju. Plexico yeah. Burns. Yep. And Mark it's a long, Bryant. it's a long list. And, oh yeah, Mike Martavis Wallace. Bryant. Mike Wallace. Martavius Bryant. Martavius Bryant can't get off the weed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a long list of them. Long list of them, man. But see, here's the thing: by him doing that, he literally cost Pittsburgh almost ten seconds when they could have been right there at the line, spiking the ball and gone down. I mean, literally. They were inside the red zone, and they I would had say a that's, a good, that's a good nuts nuts of the player week right there because that was and a dumbass. And also, um, before Chase Claypool incident, also my nuts of the week is the Steelers secondary. They couldn't stop Justin Jefferson. They sure could, could they? Can oh, we throw Urban Meyer that that the week? Not many people stop Justin Jefferson this Not too many people can shit. Eagles. Even with Adam Thielen now, even with Adam Thielen now, they still can't stop him for some damn reason. And they couldn't stop Dalvin Cook either. That also I mean for Steelers front seven though. Good job, Eagles. Good draft pick. Can we also put Urban Meyer on the nuts of the week, please? Uh, That's your, I don't, your I don't even know. We don't have enough nuts. Her. We don't have enough nuts left for Urban. Yeah, I was gonna say he, yeah, he got Urban. a ball. Like yeah. seriously, and Dalton, I just had this conversation, and we all know this. He's not an NFL coach. He belongs in college football. He never I mean, will be. I, an NFL Eric, coach. Eric, you say that, but like I said the other night, he only had they, they only had one win last year, mm-hmm. and now they have two. So if they if they what if they win these next two games, which are the Jets and the Houston Texans? You know, it's funny because I actually picked Jacksonville to beat Houston. It don't even matter if they win those games. He's still out of there, and they're going to be starting from scratch again. So either way you look at it. And I agree with Ace on that one. Yeah, either way they look at it, they're going to be set back again unless they get a, you know, a premier coach and, and they can 
catch up. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised after that instance with the uh, kicker this past this that just came out today. I would not be surprised either after this game that he resigns uh, if they do lose this ball game to Houston. I would not be surprised whatsoever. Uh, and I think a lot of it will be uh, due to the uh, owner putting the pressure on him saying, you know, I already went through this shit with Tom Coughlin. I mean, look how many people he had to repay because uh, Coughlin used to dock them pay for practices and stuff like that. So he had to go back and reimburse all these players uh, for Jacksonville the way that he was treated. Uh, Coughlin was treating players there. So now Shaka Khan, or whatever his name is, his ass is going to be fucking uh, probably saying, you know what? It's time for you to step down. I'm not going to sit there and go through a lawsuit with this Josh Lambeau guy. I'm going to do the right thing and get you out of here. So, But anyway, I mean, we got games uh, this Thursday night, which is going to be probably, if it was on a Sunday, this this might be the game of the week because this has got very – I said this a few weeks back. I said this week right here, I don't remember you guys remember that. I said this week right here, week 15, this is like the best week since week one when it comes to matchups. Plus, the playoff implications are unreal this week right here. I had several people tonight inbox me and saying, damn, whoever wins this week has a good week. They could be pulling away because there's going to be a lot of games that might go either way in this in this series. But let's start out with Thursday night. Chiefs and the Chargers. Uh Chargers one game back, got to win early in the season. If they win this game, they'll be uh, sweeping the Chiefs and have the tiebreaker, and it's at home. I'm going to start out with Will, put him on the spot Thursday uh, night. Put me on the spot. Uh, yeah, I wasn't put prepared for spot. that one. But I- I'll go with it. Uh, the only thing that concerns me a little bit is uh, they're saying that Eckler is a, a game-time decision. So, But but even then, uh, uh, Herbert has been having a good year. You know, they get Keenan Allen back. Uh, you know, they got Mike Williams. You know, that offense is starting to look really good. Herbert's looking like he's he's really getting comfortable and he's he's finding his way. And, he, you know, you, you can tell by a couple of the passes he threw last week that he, he's confident and, and, and he knows his guys and he's got a good rapport with those guys. Uh, and then Kansas City came out and got a good win last week. But, uh, you know, and there's a lot of implication here. Whoever loses, is, you know, could potentially be in trouble moving forward. But, uh I guess I will have to go with I'm, – I'm going to go with the Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to – I mean the Raiders, the Chargers. I think the Chargers are going to uh, – I think the Chargers are going to pull – I think they're going to sneak one out here. I don't think it's going to be, you know, a blowout or anything like that. But uh, I'll say I'll say 27-24. It's going to be nice and close. And, and, you know, it'll just come down to the final plays or so. But yeah, I like the Chargers in this one. I think they got enough to, to beat Kansas City. That gave that gave Eric time to go put his Patrick Mahomes jersey on. <laughs> Eric, you got this. Uh, you got this game right here. Kansas City, not even close. Okay, Kansas City, not even close. You heard it right there. And what's the Patrick. score? 37-14. You gotta be kidding me. Got to make Monday. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, Slim Brady. Um. I went back and forth with this game, but ultimately I'm going to go with the Chiefs. 31-20. 31-20. Thomas tied you in the comments right there. 31-20. Hey, sorry. All right, uh, Dalton. Okay. I like both the teams, though, but it is going to be close. But I got the Chiefs 30-27. to 30-27 Chiefs. Oh. All right, Dennis. Definitely close. I'm going uh, old school, uh, 31-27, Kansas City. 31-27, Kansas City. That means Will, who started us off, you better start howling, brother. No, you're going with Kansas City too, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you better start howling the first, first night. You better start howling because I got this game going to overtime, and I got the Chiefs uh, – Chiefs winning 37 to 31 in overtime. I think it'll be a high scoring game. Uh, I think the Chargers could actually jump out uh, early in this game, but I just think Patrick Mahomes in the second half is going to do his thing. Uh, I'm not big big fan of uh, all this COVID this week. There's like 97 players 
out. You know, Chargers are messing their offensive uh, uh, guy, Rashawn Slater's out this ball game, and the Chiefs is messing uh, Chris Jones. So it's kind of like a, a wash when it comes to that that line play or whatever. So, uh, but anyway, we got games on Saturday, fellas. Games are on Saturday this week, yeah. which is interesting because uh, the first game is called the COVID game. You got <laughs> the uh, Browns without everybody, it seems like, playing the Raiders. And you talk about a important game for the Browns when this shit happens. Uh, uh, Dallas, go ahead and explain to us what's going to happen this ball game. You got no Baker Mayfield. You got no coach. And you got the Raiders who basically suck coming to town to play. Uh, how you see it? Sorry, I was a half asleep. Did you say me? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Half asleep. Um, yeah, Sounds like Tom Brady on fourth down. Hey, shut the fuck up, Eric. Three points. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not clever about it. Just fuck off. Uh, I originally had the Browns with this one, but talking to Ethan earlier, he reminded me about the COVID thing. So, given that the Raiders suck, I think they're due for a win. So, I kept the score, but I flipped it to the Raiders. So, I'm going 24-17 Vegas. 24-17 Raiders. All right, Eric. I'm, I took Cleveland. I just think Raiders have too many problems going on right now. Um, after what Cleveland just did this past week, he got an important win. Um, Cleveland, 30, Raiders, 17. 30 to 17. Wow, and your quarterback, he's played for your team. No wonder why you picked the Browns. I don't sure. think. Dalton, who you got? Well, Browns since no coach, no Baker Mayfield. But the Raiders, uh, they need to be careful because what happened last Sunday. But I am going to take the Raiders 29 to 13. 29 to 13. D man going with the Raiders. All right, Baker Mayfield, Dennis. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to go with the black hole. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm, this one's going to be real close. I'm going 21 20. Black hole. Dennis is gone. We got triple D's in the house now. Triple D's. Triple D's. Oh, man, I was supposed to say, Devon, get the tables. Damn. Get the table. get the triple D. Get the table. That's right. All right, uh, Will. Uh, yeah, I know Cleveland's got a lot of COVID issues over there, but they still do have <laughs> Del- uh, not Del- uh, Nick Chubb, and they and they do have a, a fired up Chris Keenum who, who was trying to Generate the team over there. I seen something today where he was trying to get everybody riled up. Uh, I don't know if Darren Waller is going to even play for Vegas again. Might be the third week he sits out. And yeah. that, kind of, that kind of scares me because they don't have anybody really to throw it to. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Cleveland here, even with all the players out. I mean, they still have Nick Chubb. Stop him. You still got Donovan Peoples. He can go deep. Ace Keenum. He's serviceable. Uh, I'll give the edge to Cleveland here, 24 to 17. Wait, so Hunter Renfro doesn't count? Uh, yeah, I mean, he just showed up, what, two games? I mean, yeah, not really. You, you got to be more consistent than that, right? 24 to 17. I like that score. I had the score being 23 to 16 Cleveland. A little bit off there, Will, but 23 to 16 Cleveland. And I will say this. If the Raiders are able to score over 20 points, they will probably win this ball game. Right. But uh, one thing that changed my mind tonight when I asked my son, I was like, damn, who's quarterback in the Browns? And he said, Case Keenum. I said, ah, oh, Case Keenum's not a bad little journeyman quarterback, especially when you can just hand the ball off to Nick Chubb. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's been in there before so this season. So with that defense, I think that Browns defense is the kicker. I think the Browns, the defense is going to have to win this ball game. And plus, the Raiders – are the Raiders. I hate that fucking thing this season. They knocked me out of that damn Survivor Series. <laughs> and next is Saturday night. Probably if it was on a Sunday, it could have been the game of the week. But it is the Colts and the Patriots. And I would start out with Dallas, but he would probably talk about them for about an hour. So I'm going to start out with Dalton. Hey, you motherfucker. I can be quick when I want to. Colts and the Patriots. That's, that's what she said, huh? <laughs> no, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what you said. 
That's what she, she said. He could be quick when he wants to. <laughs> oh, Dennis, don't then forget that about Terrence Smith. <laughs> I forgot already. I forgot already. I ain't going to lie to you. You ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, I forgot. Thing. Now that's what she said. All right. All right, uh, all right, Dalton, what's going on? I know you're a big Colts fan now. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to seeing Jonathan Taylor versus Patriots defense. That should be a good matchup, though, but it is going to be close. I got the Colts 28-24. to 28-24. to 24 Colts. Yep. All right, uh, Will. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm interested in the same matchup. I want to see Jonathan Taylor and what he's going to do against this New England defense. Uh, man, I feel like De- De- DeForest Buckner and all these guys are going to give Mac Jones a hard time. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm leaning. I'm leaning the Colts. Here. Carson Wentz. I mean. If they're going to plan on stopping the run, then Carson Wentz is going to start airing it out. I mean, I mentioned it a while back about what they did to Tampa Bay before Carson started making mistakes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean with the Colts here. I'm, I'm gonna get on the edge. I'll say uh, I'll say 28 to 24. It's not going to be you no know, blowout. This is you know New England is still coached very well, but but I like Indy here, and, and I'm very I want to see what Jonathan Taylor does. So I'll be 28 you know. 24 Colts, Eric. Well, I'll be honest, after the last game when I saw the Patriots play Buffalo in Buffalo during that really cold weather, their defense was just really strong. And I don't see that changing. New England's been on a very hot winning streak. I think they go into Indianapolis, win 34-20. to 34-20. to 20. All right, Dalton, uh, all right, I promise I'll talk for an hour on this. <laughs> right. So... Do 30 minutes. Um, no, the I clock's, mean, the I'm clock's be, ticking. I'm going to be a homer. I'm going to take the Patriots only because the Colts are one dimensional on offense. You take away the run game, which they're going to be keyed in on. Uh, Carson likes to throw off the play action pass, and he won't be able to do that if we're stuffing up the run game with Taylor. I don't think he can beat us on a three step drop, not with our man to man covers. And DeVoris Buckner won't get anywhere near Mac Jones. We have one of the top two. O lines in the entire league, so I really don't think he's getting past Mason or David Andrews. So I'm gonna take the Pats, uh, 31 21. 31 21, he's taking the Pats. And uh, all right, uh, my co host, Mr. Dennis Holmes, this game Carson played? Went. Indy. This game is being played in Indianapolis down the street for me, and they are gouging those ticket prices up again. Okay, um. The Indianapolis Colts lose this game 24 to 17. Um, the New England Patriots win, and Jalen Mills makes the big play in this game to seal it. He's On his old buddy, really. Carson like Wentz. Wow, I'm surprised he grayed Dallas on that one. I, mean, mm-hmm. I, I told you I'm not always a hater. I might have to stop hating on the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a great prediction, Dennis. Uh, I am going to take the Colts to win this ball game. Uh, both teams come off a bye. Who's got the better defense in the playmakers? Both teams have good defensive players and playmakers. The only thing that concerns me in this ball game, we have brought it up, Mac Jones. I don't know how good Mac Jones is going to play against somebody like DeForest Buckner, Darius Leonard. Uh, they've got nobody really to throw the ball to. The Bills should have won that ball game in in Buffalo, but they just blew it. They had every opportunity in the red zone, and they just blew it. So I just think uh, pass were hot. They had a bye. They they lost an offensive lineman, if I'm not mistaken, this week. Is that true? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I didn't hear about that. Now, let, yeah, me, the, let, me, let me rewind this. Did you take – Indianapolis. I'm taking Indianapolis. After the Patriots just had a bye. After the and Colts had a bye. I just said that Colts had a bye too. He also Colts said we have nobody to throw the ball to, so I guess he doesn't count Kendrick Bourne, Jacoby Myers, uh, Nelson Aguilar, Hunter Henry, or Johnny Smith. Either that or no, you don't, you don't count I would, rather, I, would rather throw, I would rather throw the ball to Michael Pittman, T.Y. Hilton, uh, Hilton Jack Dole, uh, Allie Cox, and. Uh, 
Zach Pasqual and Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, and uh, Naheem Hines. I'd rather throw the ball to those guys too as well. It's a, it's going to be a good game, I believe. I just think the Colts, and I think the Colts are just going to, uh, they're just going to make Mac Jones turn the ball over, and it's going to drive Bill crazy. I think I would not be surprised if the Patriots turn the ball over four times this game. Four times. I'm at four times right now. Uh, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to make sure you TikTok that shit this week because Hunter Henry's the best option on that field. Hunter Henry's gonna have two touchdowns minimum. TikTok minimum, okay. That. We'll TikTok that if it happens. But like, I said, you can so, TikTok at your damn self. You are the youngest one in here. Oh, like what about uh, uh? You don't know about your offensive lineman being out? Yeah, I don't hear nothing about. I didn't it. hear about that yet. No. So can anybody it's verify probably- that? Because I was I was told that uh. They lost one of their offensive linemen due to COVID, I believe. If they did, it's probably Trent Brown. That motherfucker's always out for something. No, it's not Trent Brown. I wouldn't remember his name. I think it's somebody else. Maybe he's a backup. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't that worth the shit anyway. So, who knows? <laughs> I thought they lost an offensive lineman. Anyway, uh, looking. you looking? Chase Winovic? Oh, a defensive lineman. Okay. He's he's rotational piece. He's good, but he hasn't Damian played a Harris whole lot. And, Damian Harris and Adrian Phillips limited. So they, they're game. Harris time. is always limited. He's soft. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. All right. So we'll move into uh Sunday's game. Uh which is ooh, boy, there's some there's some there's some interesting matchups in this this week. And uh, there's some games that you just shake your head. I'm gonna start out with a game that you guys were talking about earlier. It's the Urban Meyer Bowl, uh, Houston and Jacksonville, because somebody actually earlier in the show said they taking the Jaguars to win. Eric, uh, tell us why the Jaguars are going to win this ball game, please, with your uh, aqua phone up there. Probably because you, your phone's the aqua color. That's probably why. Show us your phone again. No, it, Let me see your just... phone. Let me see your phone. Put your phone up there. The Jacksonville yep, phone? Yeah, that's it. Got the turquoise <laughs> Jaguar phone. You happy now, Buck? You happy? I am now. Now, is there a picture of uh, Trevor Lawrence on the front of that phone? Let's see that. You can fuck off for that one. (laughs) (laughs) You can all fuck off for that. That ain't funny. Um, Russell Wilson, he wears number three. Go ahead. Screw you, Buck. (laughs) No, honestly, I'll keep this uh, short. Um, I just – these are two teams that – they're not going to be in the playoffs. They've been struggling all season long. You know, the whole thing, Deshaun Watson not being there with Houston. You know, Trevor Lawrence being a young rookie for this Jacksonville team with Urban Meyer coming from Ohio State not being in the NFL. It's just – it's an ugly game. As what we would describe it, it could be Cartoon Network, PBS, you know, visible. It's – there's just so many things wrong with this. But I think being in Jacksonville, I think they might have a little bit of momentum. Um I don't think it's going to be that high scoring. I think this is Jacksonville 24, Houston 15. 24 to 15? Yep. Okay. All right, uh, Dalton. 15. Yep. Well, we all know both teams ain't going to make the playoffs. Right. Like Urban oh. Meyer, he's not a NFL yep. head coach material. And well, we all know both teams. Teams. To make the playoffs, like Urban Meyer. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, no, it's not you. It's not. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, I'll be right back. No, it's not you. It's not. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, I'll be right back. 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 Whoa, uh, she had to get in because you wasn't reading her scores. She was mad because you wasn't reading her scores. I was doing something else. I told you I forgot. I know you no, did. I'm somewhere else. So D Man's going. Oh no! Right. Here, come, here come D Man. He coming back now. Hold on. D Man's coming back. Tayson Hill. There he is. All right, we ready, D Man. Hey, can you hear me? Am I still you are. You are good. You are good. Okay, as I was saying, apologize for that. What I was saying was, Arby Myers not in for head coach material. The Texans, they should never hire David Cawley. I don't think he – it's not working out. And Davis Mills, he did put up, like, what, 300 points or something. But I am going to take the Jaguars 21 to 16. Jaguars 21 to 16. Yeah. Woo, Will. Yes, sir. I'm up. Uh. I'll tell you like this. 
I'm rolling with Houston here, and it's not even close because uh, I don't feel like Jacksonville is even going to play for Urban Meyer, man. Uh, at this point, he just needs to walk out at halftime. I mean, not even, not maybe, not even show up for the game. Uh, I like Houston a lot better. <laughs> Jacksonville can't run the they can't run the ball. They they've been proving that uh, the last two weeks. Uh, James Robinson is nowhere to be found, and I and I think that's because Urban, you know, he doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, Trevor Lawrence threw four interceptions last week. I would think that will continue. Uh, Houston just got the edge here. They're, they they have a, there's a there's a better defense over there in Houston, and uh, I do like Mills. Man, Mills does sling the ball uh, pretty well, uh, and I, I think they could win this game nineteen to six. Uh, yeah, I just Jacksonville is just in shambles, man. I feel like the team is just gonna go there, you know, just because they're not gonna play hard at all. Nineteen uh, bucks. Oh. Yeah, hey, Buck Flair, I think I know why it was Eklund earlier. They they think the Zoom knew I was going to pick the Jaguars. That's why I was Eklund. They knew what I was going to say. And, like, they made me echo. That's why I did that. <laughs> Ada, Ada came in. Jay Will, what's up, brother? Jay How you guys doing, man? Good to see you, man. Up, Look like you just got out of a damn heavyweight fight. Uh, what's, what's up, Jay Will? How you doing, bro? Good, brother. How you got it? It's, like, it's freezing down here in this basement, man. <laughs> what's the temperature over there? Uh, I think right now it's probably about 34, I think. You want to switch with L.A.? No, I'm lying. It's, uh, minus 70 degrees. degrees, Eric. Oh, man. Do you want to switch? <laughs> Please, I'm tired of this bullshit weather in Texas. <laughs> what do you think, Jay Will? You think Houston or Jacksonville? Um, I'm going with Houston all the way. I, I just kind of want to – I know I just got here or whatever. Um. <laughs> want to uh, say get a side note going man um i can't remember the year or whatever i'm sure dennis you guys are better with years but i used to uh hang out at this bar with a lot of the oakland raiders and um when uh it was a callahan or whatever when he when he called them the dumbest football team we got to be the dumbest football team and uh this bar that we used to go to they would only drink on thursdays because uh, they were off on fridays but when he called them that, they came, they drank every single day. And they told everybody, put all your money on whoever we're playing, because we fuck this dude. We're not playing for this dude ever again. And I, I when I when I look at all this stuff that's going on with Jacksonville, I think that 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 he's lost the locker room and these guys are probably partying, strippers, uh alcohol weed like they're 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 not they're not gonna they're not gonna show up on sunday so mm. yeah houston all the way man when you when you when you disrespect these guys it's hard it's hard to come back from that man so yeah the locker room is going go Houston. all right sharing one hey that's hey, it chocolate right francisco What's up, Sharon? Rice and Roni treat. <laughs> hey, Sharon. Yeah. Hey, I got Tennessee. I mean, I got Tech. What, what are they? Houston winning this game 17 to 10. They're the two teams that don't matter. 17 no. to 10. Yeah, it don't matter. Everybody matters. Everybody matters. Dallas, so what you got? I think the Jaguars will have an advantage playing at home. And because of that advantage, they're going to come out and get 10 points and give up 30. They lose 30 to 10. <laughs> this team has no fucking idea what they are doing. They've shown it over and over again. They are a waste of everything football. And Urban Meyer needs to go back to college. Hmm. I don't even think he should go back to college. Yeah, after that kicking the kicker thing and what they now, said. Knowing how mismanaged Florida Gators are, they'll still fucking take him back <laughs> to the fake retirement shit. Yeah. Mm. All right, Dennis. Well, I also have Woo! the color phone, okay? Got a, a, got a jack phone. Look at that. As a matter of fact, I have two of them. Woo! I got two phones. Trevor so Lawrence I am phone. also picking the Jacksonville Jaguars to win this game. 13 Woo! 20 is the final score. 13 to 20. Is the final score. All of this shit that's going on with Urban Meyer and all this shit everybody's saying, watch these Waka Flockers come out and win this game. Just watch. This is this is the NFL season of 2021. 
in the fucking in the fucking bottom. This game right here. I'm telling you. You saying Jacksonville's going to win? Jacksonville's going to win. Watch this shit. Wow. And I got the Jaguars, and I said what I fucking I said. That's right. That's right, D-Man. Get the tables on their ass. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I, also I had to, I had to go back too. and say, uh, I say Thomas got a match with me. He said Colts 31 to 20. So I said Colts 31 to 20. I missed that one in the comment section. And Dennis, my co-host, Holmes, and I do agree. The Jacksonville Jaguars <laughs> win this ball game. 27 to 20. I got them winning 27 to 20. And the only reason why I posted, I posted a stat in the in the chat. And I told and I told you guys, I said of the healthiest teams in the league right now, the Jaguars are like in the top, top six healthiest teams in the league right now. So with all those injuries that are going around the league right now, I'm just going because I think Jacksonville is more healthier. And the fucking Texans. <laughs> That's the only reason why I went with the Jaguars. Plus Trevor Lawrence. I think he's got he's due for a he's due for a a, a better game because the defensive. He did beat Buffalo, by the way. Uh nine to he six. He did beat but Josh Allen beat Josh Allen that game, all right? <laughs> the, the real Josh hey, Allen Claire. stand up. Yeah. Hey, but Claire, you, you know, Irvin Meyer's gotta be lucky that he's just fucking kicking the what is that the kicker? Yeah. yeah. I mean, can you the can you Josh imagine? Lambo. I like, said, imagine Aaron if he kicked yeah. uh, Aaron Donald, if Aaron Donald was on the team, or if he kicked like one of these like badass Listen. motherfuckers, it probably would have spree welled his ass. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of wish he would have kicked in the Dama Kong Sioux just to see him kick. That's, his ass. What, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He knew uh, he knew who to kick. <laughs> I wish he would have kicked. I wish he would have kicked Lawrence quick. Taylor. You know, you, know, you know what though? I think Kareem Hunt wants to go play for Jacksonville now after hearing about that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stay long on this game right here. Is anybody taking Detroit to win against the Cardinals? No. Somebody. Oh no. No. Which game? Somebody's gonna pick. Who's picking them? Nope. Which game? Uh, Cardinals and nobody's nope. taking the, the Lions. Lions. Oh, yeah. Your your quarterback is playing for the Lions. I'm pretty sure you're gonna pick the Lions, Eric. Come on. Oh hell no, Will might. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something. I got this game being 28 to 27. That's my score for this week on this ball. You can't be serious. Ooh. It's gonna be that close. 28 to 27 Ooh. Cardinals win. Oh, I think man. it's a big. This is gonna be a big emotional letdown for the Cardinals after the news from DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, uh, yeah. I forgot about down for the yeah. season. Never mind. Yeah, so yeah, I think, I got uh, wait, wait, I wait, think, what? Uh, Hopkins yeah, yeah. out for the season. Hopkins out for the season. Yeah. So your fantasy yeah, yeah. just got shook up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Major what happened again? <laughs> yeah. He had a leg injury. His last game was leg injury, so they shut him down. There's a possibility he could come back for the playoffs, they're saying, but more than likely he ain't going to be back. Well, they lost J.J. Watt. Now you they know what they call that? Watt. That's the shook ones right there. Yep. Yeah, I don't so, think they're too worried. They got enough, they got enough other wide receivers to, to pick up. Just shout out your scores. If you think the Cardinals are going to beat them real bad, I'm pretty sure some people might have had. I just, I just hope James Conner don't go the fuck off this game. I'm tired of playing against this guy. He's questionable. I'm playing against, I'm playing against James Conner in my fantasy league too yeah. this week. And I'm like, right, oh, I played him last week. He beat me. This week, I got to play him again. I, I don't want to play him no more. I'm tired of playing against this guy. He's questionable. <laughs> but I got, I got Arizona um, 30, 31, 31, 13, Arizona. Woo. Yeah, I got 34 to 14, Arizona. 34 to 14. 35 to 13 Cardinals. Yeah, 30, 33 35 to 16. 49. 44 to 6 Cardinals. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, let's hope uh let's let's hope it's a close game for my sake. If not, you guys are right on target with Arizona. But any other time, uh I just think that emotional loss of uh DeAndre Hopkins and plus losing to the Rams, uh, I think it might come back to bite him in this ball game. Uh, I think uh, AJ Brown played pretty good last week. Next, we're going to go to uh, the Giants and the Cowboys. Is anybody taking the Giants this week? Is Danny Dobbs playing? No, Mike you know. is starting again. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> you know what, man? These divisional games, man. You guys go. You guys need to start listening to me. Is Danny <laughs> Dobbs playing? I, I listen to you a whole lot, but these divisional Danny games. Dobbs I'm going to take it with the final score. Uh, what, did, what did I have final score was? Yeah, 13 to 27 Cowboys. Okay, so I'll wait for next week for the Cowboys to lose and they play the Redskins again. Yeah. 
What you got, Dallas? 13, 20. Everybody's shout so it out. Nobody's taking the Giants. I, I actually, first thing I need to make is correction on my score in the last one. I looked at my scores and I combined two games. I have 44 to 13 for Lions and Cardinals. And then for okay. this game, I have 38 to 6 Cowboys. 38 mm. to 6 Cowboys. Mm. Mm. Dalton, what you got? Major Cry J. Will, you will be all right? Yeah. I got the Cowboys 31 to 10. 31 to 10. Will, what you got? 35-14. 35-14. Dennis, you already got your score out there, didn't you? Yeah. 27-13. Sharon, what did you end up having? 32-14. Woo. Anybody else? The spread yeah. is 10. Uh, the spread is 10. 40-12, so. to 12, Dallas. 40-12. to 12. I'm still Baby waiting. Boy. I'm still so waiting to Thomas see. And I, Thomas and I have got like – Telecommunications going on right now. He has 27 to 17 in the comments, and I got 27 to 17 too. Dallas over the Giants. So, as Jay Will said, rivalry game. I don't know how close it'll be, but I'm going to give the Giants just a little bit of credit uh, as Joe Judge works his way out of the New York area. So, uh, <laughs> but hasn't Dallas scored 40 or more points against all the division teams in the NFC East this season? But no. not the not the Redskins. Not last week. Okay. Yeah, not last week. Yeah, okay. they they got prior, up eighteen uh, and eighteen to nothing, and they I'm did still, that as far as that goes. I still want to see uh, if Penny Galladay shows up. I'm still looking for him, man. I'm the next a... game we got is the Jets and the Dolphins. Is anybody taking the middle school quarterback this week? Yeah, no. I'm, taking, I'm taking the Jets. Oh, uh, who said that? Who said that? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and go with the Jets. My fuck it, I'm going. I'm doing. Will's it. Will's going with the Jets. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Jets. You call me crazy, whatever. I'm going with the Jets. Yeah, you crazy as <laughs> hell. God damn it. Miami's got a win streak there. You know they had a little breather. Uh, yeah. I think the Jets might sneak one out here. You know, uh -oh. it's gonna be a close one. I'm gonna say, uh, you know, we'll, we'll say uh, 21 to 19. It's gonna be a close one. 21-19, Jets with a big upset. Will's got his upset special there, the Jets. Upset Too bad Henny's not here. Will, Jay Will, what do you think? Miami? Ah, man. Um, where is this game? It's in New York, huh? Miami. It's Miami. in Miami. Oh, it's in Miami. Yeah, I got, I got nice, the Dolphins, Nice man. warm weather. Yeah, I got the Dolphins. Uh, they'll squeak it out by a field goal. I got it 19-16. Uh, 19-16. Dallas? Uh, yeah, I'm done taking the fucking Jets, man. They burned <laughs> me once many times. It's like Will with the Lions. Fuck them, boys. They don't know what they're doing. 26-13 uh, Dolphins. Jets get a pity touchdown in the last minute. 26-13. to Dalton, what you got? I got the Dolphins 25-13. Oh, God damn. 25-13. That was close. You and, we, you, and, you and Dallas got the little funky scores going on. Yeah. Sharon, what you got? I got the Dolphins 27 to 13. 27 to 13. Eric, what you got? So this is the Paper Plains versus the Miami SeaWorld Dolphins. Hmm. Miami 30, New York 10. 30 to 10. And Dennis? 31 17, Miami Dolphins. And I have the Dolphins winning 27 to 15. I gave him I gave him an extra close. two points there. Gave him an extra two points. Everybody was close to that. I was like, listen to 26 to 13 and 25 to 13 and all this scores. I was like, wow, everybody was bouncing around with them dolphins and stuff. Dolphins. Uh let's see. Next game. Man, that's the second I time. Well just, I might as well just go to it. It's, it's, I'm just gonna go. He's here right now. Atlanta Falcons and the 49ers. This is, I knew you were uh, going to say that. I knew you were going there too. Kyle much, Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan's uh, team uh, versus oh, his God. old team, and they got a fucking lucky win last week. God damn it, they fucked up Joe Burr's birthday party. That was one game I lost, but I was so excited when they fucking uh, 
took that lead. I said, oh, shit, I'm going to win this game. And shit, no, but they didn't. I'm glad because Zach Taylor continues to lose, Dennis. I didn't call this. It's another loss right there. All right, Jay Will. So what's going on? San Francisco and Atlanta. What you got? Man. Jeez. Well, you called it last week, Buck Flair. Like I said, I, I, I said last week that the Niners would lose. It was an ugly game last week, and I still can't believe that they won. Uh, but shit, uh, Matt Ryan, he's terrible. And I think that uh, our defense can hold up. Uh, geez. Worried about that running game, though. I like, I like Patterson. Uh, but I got the Niners because because we're playing at home in Santa Clara. I got the Niners 20, 26, 26, 26, 17. 26, 17. Nine point victory. All yeah. right, Dallas. Yeah, it's a friend you calling me. I'm looking at my fucking paper here. I can't find the goddamn score. Uh, Open your uh, eyes. You guys I, in these fire truck worlds, man. You. you guys are killing me. Enough chime in for the peanut gallery that I fuck you. Hey, right, let's look at score, shall we? Right, I got it. 20, uh, 27 17 49ers because, well, the Falcons don't like when a team scores 28, so I give 9 27. 27. That's a good one right there. I like that. Sharon, what you got? Yeah, I don't have a lot of faith in uh, in Atlanta in this game, in this matchup. So I, I have San Francisco 27 to 16. 27 to 16. God damn it. Dennis, what you got? 28, 21, Ooh. nine again. Bang, bang, nine again. Nine bang, bang. again. I thought bang, I was getting bang. worried there for me. I thought Ron Thomas had done got into your DMs and was like <laughs> twisting your arms. <laughs> no, I think I think Cordell Patterson uh, shows out in this game, but bang, bang, nine again. Yeah, he's going to be there. Yeah. All right, Will. Yeah, I, I just like what I've been seeing out of San Francisco over the last month, man. The boys are playing with some heart, and they want to win. Uh, I forgot what the stretch is. What are they, five out of the last six wins? Yeah, uh, last five. Yeah, they're now one five out of the last six. Yeah, the boys, six are on, the boys are on fire, man, and they're looking to get in there in that, in that wild card spot. So I'm going to go San Fran here, 31 to 24. You know, George Kittle, one of the best tight ends in the game, man. He's been killing Yeah, I was going to say Kittle. Looking He's balling. Good. Three hundred and thirty-two receiving yards in the last two games by a tight end. I He's mean, balling. and I got to give credit to Cordell Patterson. The dude's not bad. He just happens to play on a bad team, you know. Uh, right. Hopefully, right. He gets I agree. Play, but San Fran's more hungry. It's not. This isn't it for Atlanta. Not this year. All right, D man. Well, like Jay will said, Matt Ryan's not there anymore. The Niners got good defense. Got. The weapons around him. I am going to take the Niners 22 to 16. 22 to 16. Eric, what you got here? This is going to be a tough call for you. Not really. <laughs> I'm taking San Fran. Um, just the way George Kittle's been playing, he's had a remarkable last couple of games. I don't see this being close. I think San Fran's been playing remarkable offense. Important win over Cincinnati in overtime. San Francisco 34 17. 34-17. And I got the Niners winning 33-23 to over the Falcons. And with that win, the Falcons would fall to 6-8. and eight. And that means the Bucks game might not mean that much because mm -hmm. uh, they could clinch the – they already clinched the playoff spot. The Packers and the Bucks have already clinched the playoff spot, for those who don't know that. Uh, the Cardinals are still hanging on by a string. I'm going to roll into that next game that didn't make the top five, but it's another playoff game, Cincinnati and the Broncos, and they're playing in Denver. And I'm going to start out with my co-host, Dennis Taylor. That didn't, that didn't make it top five? That's a tough game right there. Ooh. That is a tough game. I'm going to have to take uh, – Oh, shit. I, I'm going to have to take the Bengals in this. Bengals will win this game. Uh this is going to be a tight one, though. I'm going 34-31. Overtime. 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 Uh oh 34-31 overtime game. Overtime. Yeah, the spread is only two points. There's only two points. Two points, 35, bro. 35-31 overtime. All right, Sharon. 
Well, 34 or 31. I, I, I hate to I hate to even pick one of these teams because I can't stand either one of them, but um it's going to be close. It might go into overtime. That's that could be a, that's a possibility. But I got Cincinnati winning it, pulling it out at the end, thirty-one to twenty-eight. Thirty-one to twenty-eight, Cincinnati. Sharon going with the with the Taylor guy. All right, Will. Uh man, I was just sitting here thinking, like you know, there's some things I don't like about Denver, and one of them is Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, I don't feel like he plays to his full potential. <laughs> That kills me a lot with Denver because they can be actually. We can't hear you, Will. Will, you must have the mute button, Will. Will, we can't so hear I you. I can't bro. hear you, bro. Yeah, you must have the mute button. Uh, shit. Uh, All right. Yeah, you back, Will? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. I don't, know <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but uh, I like Cincinnati, 35 to 24. Was Josh Allen on the other line? Yeah, he was letting me know. He was 35 to 24. All right, Dallas. Uh, I'm going to take the Bungles to win this game 34 23, even though I think they have a lot of flaws and they're inconsistent. There's nothing to get back on track like playing the Broncos. Unless you're the Cowboys, then you forget to show up. Mm. Ooh. All right, Dalton. Well, I am going to take the Broncos. 24 to 18, and my ball prediction is Justin Simmons is going to have a game-winning interception. All right. You hear it there. Dalton's got 20, 20, what'd you say, 24 to 18? Yes, sir. All righty. Jay Will. Man, um, I like I, – I really like those Bengals, man. I, I like Burrow. Um, I just looked at the forecast when you guys are talking. It's not going to be too cold in Denver. I mean, both both cities are cold. So um, I'm going to go with the, the Bengals. Um, I'm going to go with the Bengals 24-17. Uh, 24-17 Bengals. And dead eye. You know, after that game, you know, rest in peace to Demarius Thomas. You know, Denver yeah. came out with a great win. You know, RIP to him. But, you know, Cincinnati coming off that overtime loss, I just think they're going to want some redemption. I think this will be a close game. I take Cincinnati 28-21. 28-21. Well, I'm going to have to agree with Dalton here. I'm going to have to agree with Dalton. I got the Broncos winning this ball game and pulling it out by a point, 24-23. Over the uh, Joe Burrow finger issue, we'll see what happens. But I'm taking Teddy Teddy Bridgewater to pull this game out in the last in the last minute. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna get that last minute drive. He's gonna beat the Bengals again. They're gonna lose again, and Dennis is gonna sit there and say, "Damn, they what now? That be that means they would be seven and seven. Cincinnati would fall to seven and seven after they had a chance to go into first place and be eight and five. Instead, if they lose this ball game, they'll be seven and seven. And then the uh, next game before we get into the top five games of the week, whoo, man, Seattle and the Rams. Oh, jeez. Did not make the top five. We did not make the top five game, but Seattle and the Rams. Uh, Eric, I'll let you go first. If you recall the last time these two teams played, Russell Wilson got injured on a play with Aaron Donald smashing his finger. Um, to the finger again. I don't, I don't see much changing. I think the way L.A. has played the last two games, despite even playing Jacksonville and then coming off their impressive win over Arizona, I really think the Rams are poised to make a run. You know, they just – they have a lot of weapons. You know, they had – like I said earlier, they didn't have Higby, didn't have Henderson, didn't have Ramsby. Ramsey. So depending on if they're going to be back, I still will take the Rams on this one. I know it's a division game, but Aaron Donald loves playing against Russell Wilson and he gets to him so much. I've got the Rams winning this one 35 21. 35 21 Rams. Well, they had Sony. So Sony Michelle has been absolutely fantastic and plays Anderson. All right, Will. Uh, Man. It's a tough game here, but 
You know what? Yeah, because uh, I, I, I'll break it down like this. Uh, Stafford is inconsistent sometimes, man. That, that, that's kind of rough. But uh, and Russ is just starting to get back under his feet. He looked okay the last couple games. But, uh, you know, it's a division game. There's a lot on the line here, and these teams always play tough with each other. But uh, I got Seattle pulling it out here, and it's going to be a high-scoring game. I got it 38-35, uh, to 35, uh, Seattle. Uh, yeah, I just think that, you know, these guys are going to score a lot of points. Uh, I don't think defense is going to matter. You know, there's a lot to cover with Seattle. They do have a lot of playmakers on that offense. And, and so 38 35, Will with an upset special there. Yeah. All right, Dallas. Um, I'll make this easy for you. Seattle's not good. They seem like they're good, but they're not. They, they're inconsistent. I'm going to take the Rams close game. Uh, 31 27. But I think Odell is starting to show us, oh, he wasn't the problem. It was Baker. If he can get open and he can buy in, then they can get him the ball. It can work. He ain't playing, I don't think. He got COVID. No, Odell's on COVID list. He has positive. All right. COVID. Well, I think that might help their offense even more. No Robert Woods. I like Van Jefferson stepping up lately, and we all know what Cooper Cup can do. So. Okay. All right, Jay Wheel. Man. You guys go start listening to me about these divisional games. <laughs> um, um, uh, where's this game? It's LA. in LA. 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 Yeah. I actually like Seattle in this. And maybe I'm just hating a little bit because I want to see the, the Rams lose because they're sitting at the top spot. But I actually like Seattle. Cardinals I, I are think that. Them. Well, I'm just saying, you know, they're they're ahead of the Niners, so. Oh, yeah. um, um, I see Russell, uh, last name Wilson. Uh, I see him, uh, him and uh, Metcalf and uh, uh, Lockett, and uh, I see the I see the running game getting going. I see the upset. I see uh, Seattle 26-20. 26 to twenty. Jay Will with an upset pick. All right, D man. Well, I am going to agree with Ace and Jay Will. I am going to take the Seahawks 31 to 23. And I'm surprised Eric didn't ask us why we're picking the Seahawks. Because remember, Eric was asking Ace why he picked the Cardinals last week against the Rams. <laughs> I'm really am curious why you guys are picking Seattle. I'm really curious. Because we can. That's why. I think I told you in my opening statement Stafford isn't, you can't, he's not consistent. You can't trust him. Yeah, granted, he had a good game this week, but look at the, the game prior to that. They weren't great. All right, Sharon, what you got? Well, I, I agree with uh, Will that Stafford is wildly inconsistent. Um, he had a good game last week, but the week before it was, it was bad. But I think he's due to have like two good games in a row and then he'll have a bad one. So I think he'll be okay. Um, if they were playing in Seattle, I would pick Seattle, but they're in LA. And so I I went the Rams would win 31 to 24. Rams 31 to 24. All right. All right, Dennis. I forgot to go get my Cooper Cup when I answered this question. Uh I'm taking the Rams to win this one right here. And I'm and I'm hoping it's big. I'm going 37 mm. to 31 Rams. 37-31. Highest scoring game of the week from Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Highest scoring game of the week. Yeah, nobody plays defense, right? Okay. Well, I am taking the uh, Rams. Thank you. I got them doing Sharon Mullen type right there. 31-24. Rams over the Seattle Seahawks. I just think uh, DK Metcalf has trouble with Jalen Ramsey. He sometimes just gets in his head and he has trouble. I don't know what it is, but he has trouble with him. Tyler Lockett had a great game against Houston. So, uh, and Russell's just getting back. But this is a game where a lot of people probably will pick Seattle because it's, it's do or die for them. If they lose this ball game, they're pretty much out of the playoffs. This is like their playoff game. Hi. And yep. if you remember the last time these two teams, Hi. Matthew Stafford threw for 365 yards in Seattle. Yeah, I mean, you can you can talk whatever happened last game. This is a new, this is a different ball game. 
You know what I mean? I mean, it's just like you saying last time the last time uh what do you call it? The Chiefs played the Raiders. You know, it was it was a domination, and so I guess you could say this is going to be a domination if you use that analogy too as well. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that one. Now let's get into the top five games of the week this Sunday. To watch. The number five game of the week is going to be come on a coach's rematch. Uh, a coach oh, that used to be there, and this guy's in a walking boot. And some people thinking that he might not play, but we're talking about Carolina and Buffalo. Uh, the Bills have Carolina at home, and Mitch Trubisky could make his debut this game. Maybe his, his debut. You mean his debut? His debut. I don't, I don't yeah. know what he's debuting, but his debut. debut. It's to give his debut with that. His debut. debut. He can make his debut. Talk about, talk about that Josh Allen debut. Debut. Anyway. Uh, also, would Cam Newton come out and be the starter of this ball game? That's another big issue right here. Uh, we'll see. What's the coach of the Bills' name? Tom McDermott. Tom McDermott. McDermott. McDermott used to be the defensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers and stuff, so he has a lot, lot on his plate. Uh, I will say this about Buffalo: a little bit of respect since I own Bill Mafia. Mm-hmm. I will say this. Their defense is the best defense in the in the uh, AFC. If they had White playing, uh, it'd be a no brainer. But I would say right now, the Bills and the Browns, to me, have the two best defenses. And I tell you what, not far behind them right now is the Miami Dolphins. Oh, they have oh. came together as a team oh, in the oh. AFC. Oh. Oh. Patriots what about the Patriots? Patriots yeah. defense, I believe. Patriots, the we only know five, about the Patriots, just a Patriots haters. The they Patriots are in last place. They are playing a last place schedule. They are making themselves look good right now. But they also they, play the they against play Buffalo a team Bills. That, when they play a team that can put points on the board, they play they're Buffalo. Over. <laughs> they over in Tampa. They over. You know what I mean? They're over. Held Tampa to 19. Held Buffalo to 10. Held the Chargers to, what was it, 24, I think? And yeah. come on. Come on, Buck. Held Cleveland. Buck, I, I, Buck I'm going to have to yeah. – I understand you got your hate for uh, <laughs> New England, but I'm going to have to say you're going to have to put New England up there, man. Yeah. As a, Defensively, as a, Matt yeah. Judon. Matt I'll Judon. Give, is, I'll, give him, is, I'll give him top five. I'll say top five. Yeah, they ain't number one. They're yeah, top five in the league, though. Yeah, they they definitely top five in the league. They're top two in the league, in my opinion. And I'm a Bills. Right. Fan, so. You can talk about the 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 New England Patriots defense being that great, but you'll find out when they play a team that can put points on the board. When they play a team like Kansas City, when they play a team like uh uh say Tennessee, Baltimore, they beat they, they beat Tennessee. Huh? They, beat, they beat Tennessee. They beat Tennessee. Yeah, but in Tennessee, did they have Derrick Henry? No. No, don't do about. that. Don't do that. Don't say when they play Tennessee and they go, oh, but did they have this guy? No, we played them. Don't do that. Hey, Buck, you do realize that Buffalo has lost four out of the last seven games, and they've given up a combined 97 points in those losses, right? Buffalo yeah, lost four saying. games? Four out of the last I'm seven. just saying, when I see teams play in action and I see them, what the capabilities are, that Bills defense, I'm telling you something, they're the best defense in the AFC. Yeah, you tripping. What happens time. when we hold the Colts down on Saturday? What happens then? I'm going to tell you something. The Colts will score over 30 points on that defense. You watch. Mm. You watch. Mm. You watch I got, what happens. I, got, I, I, I really, I really want to take that bet. You, want on that. you watch really what wanna, happens. I really want to take, really take that bet. Four turnovers. Four turnovers for the Patriots. Watch what happens. When we hold them to 21 or less and we fucking win that game and we go over 300 yards of offense, your ass is buying me, case around. I don't know about that 300 yards of offense. Yeah, I don't know about but that. Under yep. 21 points, yep. I'm with you, Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm we'll with see. you on that, under 21. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But like I said, I think, uh, anyway, Carolina and Buffalo, Ace, is your team going to come back and and uh, this is a big well, game for you? Yeah. Uh, what, what's going to happen? Well, well, for starters, I actually want to question you of why this is a top five game and not Cincinnati and Denver. I'm, I'm a little – I would have put well, that I'm game. I'm going to tell you why it's a top five game. 
I would have put that game so, a little higher, but that's cool. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take Buffalo, it. Buffalo has to win this ball game for one. Yeah. Two, yeah. it's a rematch game with the coach playing Carolina. Three, Dennis just said Matt Rule's job is on the line after well, he yeah, fired well, well, yeah. We uh yeah, me me and Dennis had talked about that. Uh, in and, uh Cam really? Newton actually, what well, we don't know what the hell's going to go on with this game with Cam Newton. I mean, he did play for the Patriots last year, and he did lose to Buffalo. Maybe he's got a little last minute Cam action in him. So we'll see what happens in this ball. There's a lot of question marks in this ball game. You know, what? Carolina has a good defense, and then you got Josh Allen with the with the boot. And if Mitch Trubisky comes in, uh. I'll be interested to see what Mitch Mitch can do. I uh in Buffalo, correct? Yeah, yeah. The next, the yeah, Buffalo's got the next three of the four are in Buffalo. Uh, yeah, they got to play the Falcons and the Jets. That's why I'm already giving you a playoff spot because I know you play the Falcons and the Jets. So you got two wins already. It's just a matter of fact. Is anybody else in the AFC gonna step it up? Yeah, well, we got New England next week, but but that's not home. That's away. We'll, we'll deal with that next week. As far as this game here, last I heard. You know, and I, I have talked with Dennis about it, and, and Dennis is right. Uh, Rule's job is uh, on the line. He brought Cam back. Uh, you know, they gave up picks for Sam Darnold, and he fired his OC. Uh, this week, uh, he's benched Cam a couple of times, two times last week, and, and then another time before. And then this week, he went on record and said that both P.J. Walker and Cam Newton are the starters. Uh, I don't know how that works. I don't know how they're going to do that. But once I heard that, when I heard him say that and I watched the interview, I was like, what is wrong with this guy? And then today I seen that they brought Sam Darnold up. Now he's all, he, he's, a, he's eligible to play. So maybe Matt rule starts all three of these quarterbacks. I, I don't know what to expect at this point, at least with Buffalo. If Josh doesn't play, we know it's Mitch Trubisky. It is, you know, it's not three guys uh, to worry about. Uh, you know, it's at home. Buffalo's got Buffalo has to win this. This is a, this is a must-win game. If you lose this game, you, you could just kiss the playoffs goodbye, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I don't like the OC that we have. I don't like that we didn't run the ball until the the third quarter against Tampa. I mean, I don't know what what type of plays we're calling up from from upstairs. Uh, it's just ridiculous. But you know, Carolina is, is just as bad, and, and uh, their defense is starting to slip. Or maybe they just weren't really that good because, you know, they were looking good in the beginning of the year. And, and I was one of the guys saying, hey, you know, they're all right. And they played some tough teams. But then as the time went on, you know, they just they, they're not looking as good. But then again, it could be due to them being on the field a lot because their offense can't sustain, you know, drives. Uh, I, I just I think the Bills, you know, there's a lot of question marks here, but I think they can they can pull together and get this one, whether it's Trubisky or mm-hmm. Allen. Me personally, I'd keep Allen out and think about the long haul. Let Mitch come in, play the game. Still got your weapons. He can get it done. You know, just slide right in there. He's he's capable. He's serviceable, as we like to say, serviceable. Uh, I think he could get it done here. And I like Buffalo here, 28 to 16 at home. Uh, I just think Carolina just has too much going on. I mean, if you're starting all three quarterbacks, uh, that, that, I don't even know what you're doing. That coach is – Matt Rule's going to be out of there. By the end of this year, I think he ruled his whole job. Wow! Yeah, I, I, you know what? You know what? Ace, I, this too. Ace, the problem, man. The problem, and I mean, come on, you're a football guy. Mm-hmm. The problem with the Buffalo Bills is like, where the fuck is the? You cannot run the run the ball. If you can't run the ball in the NFL, you can't win. They didn't, uh, they, didn't, and, they didn't have the running back run the ball until the third quarter in the Tampa that's game. That's what I'm saying. That's embarrassing. Like, what are you doing? That's uh, a, I mean, that's the and so here, here's the thing, though, right? And I talk about this all the time. Mm-hmm. And, and and so, like, if, if, if we're sitting here on this fucking podcast, if we right. can see this bullshit, right? If you, as you as a, if you as a Buffalo Bills fan, if you can see it, if I can see it, if Stevie Wonder can see it, if Ray Charles can see it, why in the fuck can't the fucking Buffalo Bills coaches see this shit? I they, it's I, amazing. They asked, they asked Brian Dabble last week, uh, why don't you run the ball? And he said, why? When we got Josh Allen. That was his response. I posted in all those chats. His response was, why? When we got Josh Allen. And well, then you there it is. Much. He ran Josh Allen so much last week that the guy the guy's hurt now. He's in a walking boot. Josh there can't run is. the ball all game. I, I don't understand. You know, I don't understand. And then and I told you, I told you that Ace too, didn't I? 
Yeah, I mean, I said Josh Allen's gonna get killed if y'all don't hurry up and protect his ass and shit. I mean, that that's you got a place to blame on the OC. We we've been saying it all along. I was calling it last year. I'm saying it now. The OC is a problem. And, and then in the fact, in the third quarter, when they did start running the ball over on Tampa, they were getting some good chunk of yards because you guys were already you know set on stopping the pass. That now the running lanes were open, and we could have probably got we could have gouged you guys with the run game. But he continued to have Josh run those. Design quarterback runs or, you know, continue to pass the ball. So, uh, you know, like Jay Will said, you know, we all see it. I, I don't understand what this OC is doing. And you lose this game, you just fire the guy. Get rid of him. I, I mean, yeah. who cares if, you know, at this point, I'm not trying to save his job so he could get a head coaching job. No, screw that. You suck. You're not running our running backs. We can say all we want that they're not that great, but we don't even know their potential because they don't get enough carries. You don't even you don't even run them. Eight, eight to thirteen carries a game doesn't tell me the potential of a running back. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. All right, uh, Dallas. <laughs> I'm going to take the Bills in this game, and I'm going to go with a twenty-four to thirteen. I think they're still kind of trying to get back to it on offense. They're trying to figure it out a little bit. Um, Carolina is a good opponent to test it out against because they're a defense has been slipping and you just don't know what you're going to get with cam so you know I, I can attest to that could be good could be bad it's been mostly bad lately and uh right. matt rule is almost as clueless as urban meyer so. agreed. agreed all right jay will <laughs> good, good comment. Good Jeez, comment. i just went on a rant man um oh <laughs> golly um who, who, is, who are the bills playing one more time the Panthers. 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 Yeah. 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 I mean, you got to go with the Bills, man, because the, the Panthers are pretty depleted. I was happy to see Cam Newton come back, but yeah, he's he's looking terrible. Um, I, I got Buffalo. They'll probably blow him out because – just because. But if, they, if, if the Bills don't start running the ball, man, it's, 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 it's lights out. Um, they got, got a got high powered game. offense. Bills can't run the ball. They got Zach yeah, Moss and he didn't activate him. And then they got Matt Breida and they got a uh, Singletary. This is the problem with Buffalo. They never invested in their in the running game. That's why I said when the playoffs came, it was going to be hard for them to win the playoffs. Got a great yeah. offense. But just, uh, the offense just is great. Up. But you can't just put can't, that all on, on Josh just Allen. Uh, this can't and run Diggs. the ball, man. Can't run yeah. the ball. Dennis, Dennis, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> his love for Matt Rule, you know where he's going. <laughs> uh uh. The crazy thing is, you know who's going to win this game? Cam Newton? No. Oh, uh, Robbie mm-hmm. Anderson? Nick? Oh, no. Chubba Hubbard. Your guy Chubba, right? No, the ex Buffalo Bills is going to win this game. Ex Buffalo Bills? Yeah, I'll let you think about that for a minute. He wears number seven now in Carolina, just in case you want to know. He's going to win this game. He's going to seal the deal on this one. Who the hell's number seven? Stefan Gilmore. Oh shit. It's gonna seal the deal on this win. It's gonna be Stefan on Stefan. I forgot he even plays there. It's gonna be Stefan on Stefan. That's how irrelevant he is. I forgot he even played there. Yeah, that's cool. But you got Carolina. <laughs> I got Carolina winning this game. Um Damn. I'm gonna go 21 to 10. 21 to 10. Yeah. Look at Dennis. Look at Dennis. Look at Dennis. He got a haircut. He didn't pull the hat off. Huh? Okay. Yeah. I, see, I, see, I, see, I, see. I agree I with him. Well, this is a must-win game. Buffalo and four other teams are tied at seven and six. I mean, you get, if they're not running the ball and Josh Allen ain't mm-hmm. getting digs, Dawson Knox, Cole Beasley, what is Buffalo going to do for the rest of the season? You know, you can't, like Jay Will said, if you're not running the ball, you're not winning games. And unless Buffalo yeah. runs the ball down Carolina's throat, this is going to be a very long game, and the rest of the season is just going to go down the toilet. Mm. I want to see Buffalo win. I picked Buffalo to win. They're at home, coming off that disappointing overtime loss to Tampa. I think they come out and they score. You know, I think this game goes 42 to 17 Buffalo. Oh, shit. <laughs> imagine imagine right. if Buffalo ran the ball. If, just imagine if they ran the ball, how amazing Josh Allen would really be. If you mm. just had just a tiny running game, it would open up the play action, uh, and it would it would it would keep him more healthy. And I mean, just look look what the Niners do, right? Uh, you guys talk shit about Jimmy Garoppolo all the time, right? But that running game opens up Kittle, it opens up Debo, 
It opens up our youth. It What's opens up, up everything. Right. If you can run the ball, you can you can win football games. And yeah. and and Jimmy Garoppolo is is the key right there. If they if Buffalo just ran the ball just a little bit, it would make it would take a lot of pressure off of Josh Allen. All right, Dallas. Well, uh, for the Buffalo game, I already won. Oh, you did. All right, Dalton. <laughs> I said twenty four thirteen. All right, Dalton. Well, remember what I said. Like I, I had Matt Rule being fired at the end of the season. I did predict did. that. Yeah. Like the Bills, like they need to get a running game together. I'm not a big fan of Brian Dable. Like Brian Dable, Dable, how you pronounce the fucking name? Draw the fucking balls. Run the fucking damn ball. You haven't got no fucking running game since late Shady McCoy. Damn it! I am taking the fucking Bills, 27 to 14. He dropped, he dropped those f bombs. He dropped those f bombs. He's not wrong, though. He's not wrong about this. It's JD McCoy. He's right. All right, all right, sure. Sure. Did you fall asleep? I don't think she's on the the live anymore. Uh, okay. Dennis knows who she took. I don't. She probably took Buffalo. He's got her scores. Yeah, she likes Cam, though. She, she does, does like Cam. Yeah, she does like anyway, Cam. I'm taking Buffalo to win the ball game because I can't stand fucking Cam Newton. So 27 to 23, I'll give Buffalo the win. 27 to 23, I think uh, it's really uh, going to be a late late rally by Carolina, but I think they fall short. Buffalo Buffalo hangs on and wins the ball game. Gets that, gets that W. Uh, the fourth best game of the week mm. is the which one? Which Sunday one? night game. Ooh, Bucks and Saints. Ooh, you that is a game of the week. Uh, this is a team. Uh, Dalton knows that every year that Tampa Bay has won the Super Bowl, they got swept by the Saints. So two Super Bowl wins, and now will will the Bucks lose again to the Saints on purpose? <laughs> will it be like one of those deja vu things where we just say, "Let's lose to the Saints again"? Every time we lose to the Saints twice in the playoffs, we go to Super Bowl. So, Dalton, what do you think is going to happen in this ball game? Well, first of all, Taysom Hill. Hasn't been the playoff teams. All he being is a fucking shitty team. So that's why Taysom Hill is not the answer. Who gives a fuck about Taysom Hill? I don't see being the fucking Buccaneers. I got the Buccaneers 38 to 17. I said what fuck said and fuck Sean Payton. He can kiss my <laughs> fucking ass. <laughs> they say I, wish I, I wish I could go see that new uh I wish I could go see that new Saints movie with you, dog. That'd be something to to go see with you. I think that'd be pretty cool to see your ass yelling at the screen and shit, and throwing popcorn and stuff, saying, fire his ass, fire his ass, fire his ass. I don't know what movie I want to see more, the Kurt Warner one or the Sean Payton one? I I, I I think, in my opinion, I think they should have made a movie about Hurricane Katrina instead of the Bounty Gate bullshit. That is my oh honest my opinion. Is that oh what the movie's God. about, Bounty Gate? Yeah, when Sean Payton got suspended for an entire year, that was about this Bounty Gate. So this movie's gonna be about Bounty Gate. Who's playing yep. Brett Favre? I don't know oh, yet. Boy. I know it's Kevin James and Taylor Lawford. How do you pronounce his name? That's I can come oh, up with. Man. Who's playing I'm Greg Williams? I'm interested to see who plays uh, Brett Favre. Who's playing Greg Williams? Because he's the one that he was the defensive coordinator that did it. Yeah. Well, I don't know yet. Okay. All right, Dallas, Dallas, what you got? Bucks and the Dallas Saints. Keeps me laughing, man. Well, these games are usually close, and they've been some trouble for Tom Brady in the regular season anyway, but I think it's time he uh, has one of those establish himself games, so they take advantage of the Saints. They're pretty banged up. I'm going Tampa 34-16. He's finally going to lay down the law in the regular season. Wow, 34-16. to Get out. Nice one. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Taysom and Zuck's uh, brother, Eric. Okay, okay you you can fuck off, Dalton. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I, I picked Orleans in this one. And after what – see, here's the thing. The last time these two teams played, I picked Tampa Bay. 
and New Orleans beat them 36 to 27 at home in New Orleans. Now, I know this game is going to be in Tampa, but after watching what Tampa did in that second half against Buffalo, that is not the way you finish a game, especially after you're up 24 to 3 at halftime. I want to see New Orleans come out strong. I want to see them firing. I know Taysom Hill is dealing with that middle finger injury, but he's got some strong legs. He is a very powerful player. I think, you know, with the addition with Alvin Kamara coming back, I think they have a very strong run with him. They can utilize him. I think this is going to be a very close game. I got New Orleans 33, Tampa Bay 30. Good night. 30. All right, Will, what you got? Uh, I like Tampa here. Um, I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of Kamara and, 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 uh, you know, I seen what the Saints did to Tampa last time. I watched that game specifically and Tom had made the mistake at the end with the interception, but not, not this time, man. And, and like Dallas said, you know, you gotta, you gotta make a statement here, uh, Tom Brady and, and, and beat these mm-hmm. guys because, because they've been owning you in the regular season and that's not a good look. So, yeah, 31 to 17 Tampa here. I don't trust Tyson Hill. You know, I was saying it yesterday. What kind of what kind of weapons do they have on offense, really? You know, you don't you can't even name their receivers if you don't really watch New Orleans games. You know what I mean? So, all they Marquez really have, Callaway, that's about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and even and even he's not putting up great great stats or nothing like that. So and they're, they're wants Mappy. He can't put up numbers either. Yeah, their bell cow is is Alvin Kamara, and I just can't see him doing a lot against that that tough Tampa defense. That, I mean you know that that defense is is pretty good. They were they were killing Josh last week, and you think they won't do the same thing to Tyson Hill? Mm-hmm. He's worse than Josh. You know what I mean? Like so, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Trevor Simeon step into this game. Uh, but I like. I do, not, I do not want to see Simeon enter that game whatsoever. Right, he was the one beat Yeah, I don't want to see him in there. Simeon beat him last time when 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 uh, what's his face, Jameis Winston went out. That was that was that game. So, but I like Tampa. Simeon. All right, Dennis. All right, all right, all right. Now we all know the Bucks don't win this goddamn game. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna give y'all 28 to 14 bucks. Uh, that's about all I got to say. Yeah. 28 14. Wow, I'm, surprised, I'm surprised you didn't pick the Saints because you love Taysom Hill also. Yeah, but some reason Taysom, he, he need a wide receiver with him. I thought he I'll, picked the Saints because of Malcolm Jenkins. No, yeah, actually, true. honestly, I picked the Saints more because of uh, Alvin Kamara than anything. University uh, of Tennessee, Alvin Kamara. Okay, All right, Sharon, you. you back with us now. What you got? Take He's yourself off you. mute. All right, Sharon. Um, I'm 35 to 21 Tampa Bay. 35 to 21 Tampa Bay. What'd you have Jay for Will? the Bills? What'd you have for the Bills, Miss Sharon? The Bills? Oh, yeah, the Bills 31 to 19. I thought I missed a game. You missed that game. You was out. You was. We thought you might have fell back asleep. Mm-hmm. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Okay, Jay. Will, what you got? Bucks and Saints. Got Tampa Bay blowing these cats out, man. There ain't no way in the world Jason Hill is gonna even remotely come close to <laughs> my boy Tommy. Um. I got this being a blowout, man. I got. I. I got Tampa Bay, forty-two. To to forty two to seventeen. Thank you. You're the one that says watch for division games. Yeah, you know what? I thought about that too. Division games, but this is this is different though, man. Chase Hill, come on. Come on, Chase Hill is not. Eric, he is not the answer. Eric needs to start howling. Go ahead, howl, Eric. <laughs> woo! That's, that's a woo. I said a woo. I that's said a woo, a not a howl. howl God damn it! Oh my bad. I'm sorry. Ooh. <laughs> Taysom Hill is Taysom football because he's just the more expensive version of Johnny football. Oh. I mean, Taysom Hill is not a real quarterback, though. He's more like a gadget player. He's not like Drew Brees, yeah, the more Hey Manning, Brett Favre, all those guys. Yeah, that's what I was telling y'all last week. He should be doing stuff like Cordell Patterson does. You know what I mean? I will say this. This is the first time in the Buck Player Show history that 
I'm looking through these comments, and Thomas and I have agreed five times tonight. He's got the Bucks winning 38 to 18, and by golly, if I ain't got the Bucks winning 38 to 18 too as well. Oh. So five times, five times, Thomas is on the road, on the road with a Buck player tonight. And yeah, I can't match Buck player for my to save my life. Well, 38-17, Dalton was close. I just gave uh, I gave the Saints getting a two-point conversion there at the end, a, a sloppy touchdown. Uh, Tom Brady is now 9-0 and and has scored over 30 points every home game in Tampa, which is kind of a, a weird stat they threw out last week. I was like, holy shit. If he's not the MVP of the league this year, I don't know what to say. He has to be the MVP of the league this year. I can't see nobody beating him right now. But see, here's the only problem I have. Tampa plays good at home. They're undefeated. When Tampa goes on the road, they're four and three. Mm-hmm. So that's going to have to change for them at the end of the season. They can't just. But well, right there. now, they got a one game lead on the Rams. Wow. 10 and, 10 and three versus nine and four. Big. Yeah, they got a one game lead on the Cowboys. And they own the tiebreaker over the Cowboys. Lottie dog. And they got, a, they, they, got a, they got the tiebreaker over the Cardinals. So there's a team called Green Bay that's right now the number one seed. A team that we beat twice last year in the back of the back of uh, Aaron Rodgers' mind. I'm pretty sure that's one thing he does not want to see hey. is Tampa Bay uh, <laughs> in the playoffs. So, take over the NFC West. So anyway, uh, the third best game of the week is got to be. Philly. Dennis's team, the Washington football team, and the Philadelphia Eagles vying for that playoff spot. I'll be damn. Wait a minute. Oh, Six and seven. The game's in Philly. Dennis will probably be there. I'm pretty sure he might be there outside. Not inside, though. He ain't got the, he ain't got the money, but he'd be outside, though. I know he might be outside. Yeah, so, Dennis might be there. I got I got the money. Only thing is, I'm going to a Sixers game on Sunday night. Okay. Well, anyway, tell us how uh, Jalen Hurts is back in the lineup. And you saw my son. My son went a little crazy. He opened up his Christmas present early. Got right. that goddamn Jalen Hurts jersey on now. Oh shit! I ain't see that. I gotta go see that. That's not that? No, I see. That? Why you didn't take me? Get out of here. I said, no, seriously, I ain't see that. I ain't know you still got Jalen Hurts. Can, can I open up my Christmas present early? I said, go ahead. Let me go ahead and send it to you. I, I thought you saw that. I ain't see uh, it, but You didn't see it, huh? Breaking news. Philadelphia tracks Ben Simmons. Why does it sound like your aux cord ain't working right? It's kind of right like- I, just, I just sent it to you. Go ahead and tell us how we're going to uh, – how the Philadelphia Eagles are going to beat the Washington football team on now, that. Now, listen – just because the Washington football team have 11 players on COVID don't mean they ain't coming to whip our ass on Sunday, okay? Don't, don't let this thing fool you. This is the division game. They're going to come to play hard. I got this game being real close. I'm talking about 23 to 20. Philly squeezes it out, okay? I ain't, I ain't got no blowout here at all. 20, what you say? 20 what? I said 23 to 20. 23-20, Philly. Did you get my picture? I'm about to get it now. Check it out. I Check did, it out. I did, I did get this picture. You did send me this picture. I told you. I told you. I thought I you said you had a video. My bad. No, nah, it's that damn Jalen Hurts jersey. He, he, he likes old Jalen Hurts for some damn reason now. I said probably just because he's styling he's like, and profile. You know, what it is? you know what it is? He had to let you know that you got the best co-host in the world. That's what he had to let you know. So he said... Get you a Jalen Hurts. Give me a Jalen Hurts jersey for Christmas. Dad, you got the best co-host in the world. That's what it was. That's all it That's is. probably what it was. That's probably, probably what it was. That's all probably it what it, cause it, he, he hears me talk about all my Philadelphia Eagle fans. He probably just fell right in that trap because I, te- I kept tell him on the show, so many people say he's not an NFL quarterback, and I was the one always defending him, saying Jalen Hurts is the NFL quarterback. And, and you, you know what's going to make this even worse, Buck Flair? What? If them damn Philadelphia Eagles play them damn Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the I know. playoffs, you just said uh, that yeah, shit. yeah I, I've been saying, I've been, I just, I just been sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, I just been waiting for my revenge. Just so, oh, sweet baby revenge. Just so. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, Hurts is a go, Adam. Hurts is a go. He just said he was he, – he got Washington, but he said if Hurts is a go, he might take the Eagles. All right, Jay, Will, what you got here? Oh, man. Um, I think Taylor Heineke's out this ball game too, right? I think no. so too. No. He's, he's, no? He's good, but the backup who came in last week, Allen, is out with COVID. So, I don't oh, know. Allen was went out with COVID. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's COVID. It's COVID is coming back like a thief in the night, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like really, it's crazy. Like all the uh, the NBA and the NFL, like all these cats are being affected by this. Um, I talked to the Chicago Bulls trainer tonight at the, uh, at my basketball practice. And she was saying that uh, she couldn't believe 10 players, 10 players had that fucking shit. And they postponed like uh, shit. And I think they've got two games going to be already postponed now. And I don't know when the Bulls will. My play a damn game. So yeah. Right. Oh. Um I got a. jeez. I got Philly winning. But it like I agree with Dennis because because it's divisional. I got a 24-21 Philly. 24-21 Philly. Both. Mm-hmm. All right, Sharon, what you got this game? Um, I got Philadelphia 28-17. 28-17, Philly with a win. Mm-hmm. Jedi. And is this game in Philly or is it at Washington? It's in Philly. Well, that's – You didn't hear me say Dennis to be at the game? You think he's going to travel to Washington? This is a problem because, as Dennis has alluded to in the past, Philadelphia is terrible at home. They played five games at home, and they've only won one time. Who they beat? That's a good question. Was it someone decent? <laughs> why is it your slate? They beat. Um, That's why I asked you. Okay, I can look right now and tell you exactly who they beat. Let's look at the who beat them, shall we? Yes, we shall. I think they beat the Saints at home. I think, yeah, I know Eagles beat yeah, the Saints at home. Yep. Yeah, they did. Was the Saints? Yep. That was the second year in a row they've beaten New Orleans at home. Um, I've got – Oh, jeez. Don't talk about Thomas Yellow. Philadelphia's 0-2 in division games this season so far. I think that's going to change this week. I think it's going to be a close one, 27-20. Uh, 27-20. to 20. Wow. What did you say, Sharon? What did Sharon say? You still, on, you still on Philadelphia and Washington? Yeah, yeah. what did you say, 27-20? to 28-17. 20? 28-17, okay. Mm-hmm. I thought you had a match with uh, Deadeye. He had 27-20. All right, uh, Dallas. Well, first, I just want to say, how fucking sad and pathetic is it for the NFC that the seven-spot wild card and these two teams are still in contention for that? I mean, they should get rid of the seven spot. This is fucking ridiculous. Um, but this is going to be a 28-27. to 27. I think Washington wins it on a last-minute field goal. Mm-hmm. Only because both of these teams don't know how to win, but somebody has to. So uh-huh. I could stop hating on the Eagles, but not this week. Nah. Uh, that's rough. All right, Will. Uh, I have to disagree with Dallas. The statement right there about not knowing how to win on Washington's behalf because they was on a four-game winning streak at one point, and they was beating some credible teams. Well, I should have clarified. They don't know how to win yeah. or finish late. Yeah, they don't know how to, yeah, I mean, you know, I just wanted to help you out there so you don't say that wrong somewhere else. Uh, in this case here, though, I was just looking at it. Uh, Jalen Hurts and, and uh, Minshew are both splitting the number one reps right now. So mm-hmm. regardless of who plays, I mean, I'm high on Minshew. I like Minshew. So if he plays, you know, they win. But if Hurts plays, they win too. Either way, uh, I got Philly winning this 30-16. to 16. Uh, and, if, and again, if Hurts doesn't start, there's no reason why Minshew can't come in and get it done. You've seen what he did, you know, going back to uh, what you would call the other mm-hmm. game. Uh, in Washington, you know, he's, you know, he said they, they have a tough time winning. I think they just blew their load against those teams that they won. And now they're, you know, they almost were coming back against Dallas. But was it, does it mean that they were good or was Dallas just bad? You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not feeling Washington this one. Philly got this and it's in Philadelphia. 30 to 16. 30 All right, uh, Dalton. Well, I know this is on mute because I'm about to ask him, like, 
Did Darius Slay broke a Nomnios from a curse? Ooh. So, anyway, y'all. Dennis, um, Dennis didn't Allen, hear that. Speaking of Allen, Jonathan Allen is on Colbert list for defensive line. Mm-hmm. But Taylor Hockey, he was playing perfect last week against the Cowboys. Let's not forget about that. But I am going to take the Eagles 24 to 14 in my ball prediction. It'll be 17 to 14 in the fourth quarter. Terry Hockey had the ball. Going to for a late pick six to Darius Slay Ooh. and win the pick six. Of Darius Slay. That could happen. He, that's definitely not a bad prediction. Mm. Right. Well, hey, I can say is that this is a uh, this game right here was was really hard to pick because Philadelphia has had some chances to to prove themselves, and they're coming off a bye, and Washington's not. So you know how I feel about that. So Eagles are Eagles are a little bit uh a little bit healthy. So I think uh, the Eagles will win the ball game 27 to 19 over Washington. 27 mm-hmm. to 19 is what I got them winning. So I damn take the damn Eagles to win. Let's see if they fly, Eagles fly. If not, then Washington, who was uh won the division last year, will be in the playoff hunt with that win right there. Um Second game of the week is Tennessee Titans playing the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. And uh, talk about a must-win situation. Uh, man, I tell you what. How? What do you got? What do you got, Eric? I'm going to start out with you. Oh, man. Honestly, I'll be honest. The way Pittsburgh has played this year, it's just been – there's been a lot of unknowns, you know. We just don't know anymore. In Tennessee, losing Derrick Henry, it hurt them a lot. They go out trying to sign Adrian Peterson, then they cut him. Ryan Tannehill, you know, there's just so much with this game. I still don't know how this is over Kansas City and the Chargers or the Rams Seahawks. If I pick one, I'd I said I picked Tennessee in the chat. Um, I'm going to go Tennessee 30, Pittsburgh 20. 30 to 20, Tennessee. All right, dog. In that game, huh? Well, um, I am going to take the Titans 28 to 21. Taking the Titans to win 28 21. All right, Sharon, this is your team. This is uh, This is your playoff game. I guess. Well, uh, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pick against my team. Um, I just can't do it because uh-huh. you just, I always give them a chance to win no matter who they play. So um, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh 23 and Tennessee 20. Cause I think it's going to be Pittsburgh is at home. And I think that it's going to be a close game and, Tennessee's not playing all that great themselves, so we have a chance to win. All right, Dallas. All right. Well, I'll say this: if uh, if you thought the Steelers' defense, the Steelers' terrible towels were bad, you should see their defense lately. With that being said, though, I think they're due for a bounce back. Tennessee themselves pretty ravaged with injuries, haven't really looked the same been a shell of themselves. Low scoring game. I'm going to take Pittsburgh 20 to 16 just for the pure fact that I think they will be able to get a running game going because that Titans front seven is just destroyed and they're going to control the clock. 20 to 16, low scoring game. All right, Dennis, I see you got your hat on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> just to let y'all know, if, if you thought my, my thoughts have changed, they have not. All right. I'm going with uh, Tennessee to win this game. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going with 31 27, Tennessee. 31 to 27, Tennessee. 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 That used to be a song. Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee. Western development. That's right. That's right. All right, Will. Uh, 
I should oh. say, all right, Will, president of the Pittsburgh Steelers Haters Club. Yeah, yes, he is. is top president. Got, I'm really not, man, I, but that's cool. I'm I, not I, only the client. I I take it now because it's been said, but I'm I really I mean, I, I, you know, if a team falls apart, the day, I'm gonna... you wear, the day you wear yellow is the day I stop calling you that shit. You haven't worn yellow, man. Fucking yeah, hater. You lost the bet. You lost the bet. You didn't I fucking do that. I gotta get a yellow shirt. Don't, I'm going to do it. Don't worry, it's coming. I just haven't been to that side of the city yet to get you know shopping. Uh, it's happened, just not yet. This is a tough one, man, because both teams kind of are playing sloppy. Uh, geez, but oh man, I don't even know who who wants it more here. This is a who wants it more type of game. You know? Pittsburgh has to stay alive, but Tennessee loses. They, they're in trouble. They want to stay alive. Oh man, this is hard. Uh, Go with your gut. <laughs> yeah, you know, from what I've seen out of Pittsburgh last week, man, it was a little bit embarrassing. But what I've seen Tennessee also be embarrassing as well. I mean, Tennessee lost to the Houston Texans and the Jets, uh, and, and that's embarrassing. That's the embarrassing. Yeah. So you know what? I'm going to lean Pittsburgh here. I'm going to give Pittsburgh the, the go ahead here, and, and, but it's going to be tight. This ain't going to be no thirty to you know whatever you guys are going to pick. Uh, this is going to be a low score here. I got uh, twenty to seventeen. I mean, we're coming down to the to the Boswell with the field goal kick. All right, that's how we're going to do it. Pittsburgh with a 20 to 17 win mm. from the president of the Pittsburgh's Hater Club. He's taking Pittsburgh. All right, Jay, Will, what you got? And this is going to be tough. I'm kind of rocking with Ace Boogie. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh's been, I don't know, been different. And then Tannehill, without the King, has been very, very shitty. So I got this going down to uh, the wire also. Where's this game again? In Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. It doesn't matter. It's both cold as shit. Um, <laughs> it's true. I got uh, – I'm going to give Pittsburgh the home field nod, but I got it being stupid crazy, like 21-19. 21 to 19 Pittsburgh. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the Steelers to win the ball game. Uh, I think it's one of those must-win situations. I think uh, Tennessee is just uh, without Derrick Henry, it's just mm, I still got question marks on that Tennessee team right now. Mm -hmm. But I think Pittsburgh has enough offensively to get the job done. Thirty to twenty-three. I think they're gonna put up some points on that. Tennessee secondary, uh, and I think Big Ben uh, throw the ball away. I just think uh, Pittsburgh will do enough to win this game. Uh, I don't like the fact that, uh, you know, Cleveland and Raiders, I'm going to bounce back to that game. Cleveland's coming off a physical game against the Ravens, and I picked uh, Minnesota to beat Pittsburgh last week because it was a physical game. So now I keep thinking to myself, damn, the Browns uh, – the Browns uh, play the Raiders, you know, and I, with all that COVID shit going on in that physical game that they did have, I, I want to take the Raiders, but I didn't do it. Tennessee's coming off a fucking bye week last week. Mm -hmm. They played the fucking Jaguars, I think it was, and it was like they shut them out, and they ain't play nobody. So now they're getting back into another – uh, they're going to play a game where they've had a bye week two two weeks in a row, I think. I didn't think they played the week before that. Right. So they're back into a physical game with Pittsburgh. So uh, before I get to the number one game of the week, uh, I'm going to go to Monday night's game, which I didn't realize Monday night games cannot be flexed. Somebody was telling me that. So I never knew I was, that either. I, was, I, was, I would hope that Monday night game would get flexed because – I don't know how the Bears is on Monday Night Football again, but or they was on Sunday night last week, and they put up a good showing against Green Bay, but now it's the Vikings and the Bears, another good old school fashion rivalry game, Monday Night Football, uh, another one of those games where it's a must-win, must-win game. So let's uh, start out with Dalton and see what he sees here, Minnesota and the Bears. Well, Dalvin Cook had a good game last week. And Justin Jefferson doing pretty good. And like 
I was completely stunned the Bears put up 30 against the Packers. We thought it was going to be a blowout last week. But I do got the Vikings 27 to 20. Vikings 27 to 20. Will. Yeah. Vikings right here. Uh, you know, yeah. You know, I just to jump off what Dalton said, I mean, I was surprised to see Chicago make it interesting on Sunday night against the pack. But, uh, well, you got to think about special play. You know what I mean? That, a lot of gadget plays. I mean, they got like 14, 14 points off, uh, you know, punt return or kickoff return or something like that. So, Grant, his name is Grant. Uh, He's yeah. pretty, pretty fast. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they utilize him more. Uh, but no one Chicago, no one Nagy, he, he's not a genius like that to make that type of move. So <laughs> uh, mm. you, you got Osborne, you got Jefferson, you know, Kirk Cousins is, you know, Kirk Cousins is doing his thing. And then you got Delvin Cook, who's probably a little bit more healthier than he was last week. Uh, yeah, I could just see this being a problem. This will be a problem just like it was when Green Bay was putting the beat down on Chicago. Uh, yeah, I like Minnesota here. And we're going to go uh, – we're going to – we're gonna. I'll go out on a limb here and say Minnesota will put up a 40-piece on these boys. Uh, Damn. Yeah, I haven't picked anything high, but I'll, I'll just throw that in. 40 to – we'll say 40 to 28. How about that? 40 to 28 Vikings. Don, what would you say again? I said the Vikings 27 to 20. 27-20. All right, Eric. I'll tell you what's really shocking. Chicago was up 24 to 14 in the second quarter and then got outscored 31 to 6 the rest of the game. How the hell do you go into Green Bay, go up by 10, and then get outscored 31 to 6? Hey, I mean, Rogers. That's true. Aaron Rodgers. Hey, Rodgers. <laughs> or Karen Rodgers. Whoa, it's a division game. You're supposed to make these competitive. And you could outscore 31 to 6 for the rest of the game. They did the discount, they did the discount belt check on him and he got pissed. And it wasn't bad. You know, it, the last time I saw Chicago play, I'm just negative. Wasn't it uh they were playing the Rams? The last I th- saw them play on Monday night. But this game is and the Rams have to play me, so I'm gonna be watching this game very carefully. But I do Chicago's just been up and down all year. There's just been a lot of inconsistencies, a lot of problems with them. Minnesota coming off that surprising win, but not shocking. Um, you know, they're up, what, it was 26 nothing, it was 29 nothing. They let Pittsburgh back in. You can't do that. You know, this is crunch time. This is playoff time. You got to make these games count, and you can't allow teams like that to get back in. The game. And Minnesota this week, I don't see things changing. I think they come out on top 38 with 17. 38 17. All right, Dallas. Yeah, I got the uh, uh, Vikings Bears. I got the Vikings here. Um, I'm going to give it to them 24 20. I think Fields showed me late in a couple of quick touchdown drives, even though he kept the game in balance as long as he could. I kind of like what I'm seeing from him lately, and I think the Vikings have been a little uh, up and down lately. So I think they win, but I think Fields plays a pretty decent game. So you got the Vikings 24 20. Vikings have been in the Vikings have been in seven games this year that they lost by seven points in the last few. Yeah, that's been a crazy fucking season for the Vikings. Unbelievable. All right, Sharon. All right, I've got uh, Minnesota winning this game, thirty-one to twenty-eight. I don't think it's going to be. You know, it's a divisional game, so I I don't think it's going to be a runaway. So I got the 31 to 28 Minnesota. 31 to 28 Minnesota. All right, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking the Vikings 24 to 10. Taking the Vikings 24 to 10. Wow. All right, Jay Will. It's going to be a blowout. They got too much. It's, it's it's a powerhouse over there, in Minnesota. If Kirk Cousins can do what he needs to do, I got Minnesota. It might be big, man. I got 17 a big blowout win. Mm-hmm. Big blowout win. Well, Mister D Man Dalton's and I have tied this week. I have the Vikings winning down there at the bottom, 27 to 20 over the Bears. 
So good job, Dalton. Hopefully it works out. Ricky Williams. Hopefully so, but at least, at least we got the same score, though. That's what I like it. That's right. And now the number one game of the week, and it has to do with Green Bay Packers playing Baltimore Oof. over there in Jay Will's backyard. He gets to see right Karen Rodgers. Come, gets to see Karen Rodgers come to town, yeah, and uh, <laughs> I should start out with uh, Eric. Uh, Eric, Green Bay and Baltimore. I have a feeling. I think I know who you're going to take. Green Bay. So uh, go ahead. Hey, is Lamar Jackson playing for sure? Or is he still dealing with that ankle? He's going to be a game time. Game time. It's a sprain. It's a low ankle sprain. <laughs> Bay comes out on top. I think they showed this this past week playing against. The That's what I hate about California Wi-Fi. It sucks late at night. That's Thank when all the shooting. No, it's all more the, like he's a Taysom Hill fan. That's the reason why it takes place late at night. Everybody's shooting up the fucking internet and the airwaves over there. Thank you, Buck. Eric, are you okay? Yes, I am just fine. Okay, we are can't you hear you. Your, uh, your brother Taysom Hill. I've got Green Bay winning this game, 35-17. Green Bay, 35 to 17. Correct. Okay. Oh, boy, boy. Dallas, what you got? Come on, lighten us up in this game. All right, come on. We got – I got a match you here. I got Packer. we on the Packers or – no, what are we on? Yeah, Sorry. Packers, Baltimore. Packers. Uh, I got Packers, 29-14. Packers, 29 to 14. Okay, D-Man. Well, Lamar was playing terrible. He had an ankle injury. Like, they avoid the boy the injury and that stuff. But the question is, is Derrick Smith was playing? Because if he does, he's playing against his former team, the Ravens. Well, in just case he does play, I think he is the X factor. But I got the Packers 37-15. to 37-15. to 15. Woo! All right, uh, J. Will. It's cold up here, man. Um, I know Green Bay is used to that, but just depending on Lamar, 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 and the honorable words of my man Dennis Holmes. Um, I'm going with the Green Bay Packers. They're rolling right now. Devontae and Aaron, Aaron Jones, and all that. Yeah. Uh, 35, 35, 17. Yeah, my 35, man. 17. <laughs> my man. All right, Will. We got the same score. And I was just writing it down. 35, 17. Packers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jesus and Christ. Think, and Eric even said 35, 17. Yeah, I'm going with the pack because, you know, I don't I don't feel like Lamar is going to play this game. And, and Huntley definitely isn't going to be able to keep up with no Aaron Rodgers. Now, if Lamar is fully healthy and he was playing, then I would, you know, maybe lean the other way, or I would definitely have the score maybe even closer. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I just don't trust Huntley, man, and, and and Green Bay, man. Green Bay is just rolling along. You know, Rodgers is just playing casual football, and he's getting it done. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, go ahead, Green Bay. They, they're going to take care of Baltimore here. All right, Sharon. All righty. Um, Green Bay's playing pretty well on a roll. I really am concerned about Lamar Jackson not playing. Whether it's a high or low ankle sprain doesn't matter to me. I, I just have a feeling he won't play, too. And um, so I have Green Bay winning 33-21. to 21. Green Bay winning 33-21. Yes. All right, Dennis, you're over there dancing. Feeling no love, feeling no pain. Talking about the Ravens and the Packers. Uh, you, ain't, you ain't even got to tell me. I told you last week who I said was going to win this game. So let me go ahead and lone wolf this joint because ain't nobody else pick them. I'm picking the Ravens to win this joint 30 to 20. Karen Rodgers has a bad game. Because why? Bitch, I'm the man. Ho, I'm the man. You know I'm the man. Too much on my mind right now. I'm on the grind right now. Looking for me sucker, then I need to be found right now. 
I'll give him a nine right now. Well, I'm going to have to tell you, my co-host, he howled too loud and too soon. He howled. Oh, shit. <laughs> he howled <too> <laughs> That's what he did. He just he just went off the deep end. And I do believe that the Ravens find a way to get to Aaron Rodgers in this ball game. I'm not a big fan of losing your right tackle last week like they did. And now mm-hmm. having to plug in, we still don't know if uh Bakari or whatever his name is is coming back this week. He's been Man. up. He's been up yeah. Yeah. But if he ain't back. Don't be surprised if that Ravens pass rush gets to Aaron Rodgers and frustrates him a little bit. And uh, Dennis just said it. Aaron Rodgers has a bad game. And what I tell you what, the kid that plays backup for Lamar, he ain't that bad. That's what I said. He ain't that bad. I mean, I was impressed the way he played against that Browns defense. Mm-hmm. I'm you had to download that drain on. <laughs> no, no, I was looking at the comments, and then it must be on that part in the show where you were going crazy. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the the Ravens to win this ball game, 26 to 23, and they will hold off a, a Packer fucking drive, and they will end up winning this ball game. And with that being said, that means the Packers lose, the Bucks win. And the Bucks now control their own destiny at the number one seed. Wow. Is it my so destiny? Like here, huh? Shall I see? Yeah, it's going to be That's interesting. What I'm talking about right there. It's all that matters. I said, I said in the beginning, the beginning of the year, they're going to be 14 and three or 13 and four and be the number one seed. And uh, the only thing I will say now is that, will Kansas City, uh, be able to get home field advantage because if they do, it's going to be hard to beat Kansas City in the playoffs in the Arrowhead. I mean, there's only one team I think that can beat them there, and it's it's uh it's Buffalo. That's the only team I think that can beat them. I think Browns can't beat them. I, I know another team that can beat them. I'm just I waiting on the King to come back. That's all. Tennessee Ooh. can't beat them. Derrick Henry, if he does come back for the playoffs, you know Titans will be. Titans will be the team to watch because, you know, like I said, they was the hottest team when Henry was there. They was beating everybody in everybody in that defense was playing tough. But I mean, when you run the football like Tennessee does, and Tanny Hill don't turn the ball over, uh they got they got everything going for them. But uh I saw Dennis I make, Dennis uh made a comment. Uh I forget what it was, I what show it was, but he said that uh Oh, um, I think it was yesterday. He said he had the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. Hmm. But Dennis Holmes. Ace got the paper next to him. He had Wait, the who said this? Cowboys in the Super Bowl. Dennis, Ace got the Dennis Ace Holmes got the had the Cowboys. I said this in March. Nope. I said that in March. Cowboys in Super Bowl. <laughs> Yeah, I got, I got, I got most of everybody's. Uh, yeah, I got all this shit written down. You know, we like to review it. You know, go ahead, go ahead, Will, go ahead. See what you got written down. Uh, for Dennis, yeah, Dennis had Arizona versus the Titans, or he had Dallas versus Cleveland. That was his. Uh, that was his pick. In the Super Bowl, I know he, I know he picked Arizona, but then he he changed his mind to Dallas, then, huh? Well, I, well, everybody was allowed to get two or three picks of what they thought. In, in, it's March. I mean, we don't forget we did this in March. Yeah, yeah, we did this in March. So Dennis only went two. He said Arizona Titans or Dallas and Cleveland. That was his. Pick. I wasn't in on this. Was I? I wasn't in on this. Was it? No, no, you were. No, not you should have been because that was a uh, it was X rated show. We did not do it on a. Uh... On yeah. going live, it was X rated show. Entertainment purposes only. That's right. No, no, this, this was X rated. We didn't care about what entertainment was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. was. Oh, okay. Well, uh, give me, give me somebody else's prediction that was in uh, there. I do. I got a couple of people that are here. Uh, let's see. I have uh, Dallas. Dallas had uh, Dallas picked Tampa versus Cleveland, or he had he had Tampa versus the Colts, or Tampa versus New England. Those were his picks. Uh, who else is here? Okay. Dalton had the Cards versus the Bills. Dalton also picked the Packers and the Colts, or uh, he picked Seattle and the Ravens. Mm. Uh, Ethan had uh, – Ethan – oh, Ethan didn't show up tonight. Ethan had Dallas versus the Bills. He had the Rams versus the Bills or Buffalo versus, versus the Bills. He, he was doing mm. up. Buffalo versus the Bills? 
Uh, I, bucks, bucks. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said it. Bucks. <laughs> bucks, 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 bucks. Uh, who else do we have here? I had, I had uh, Tampa versus Buffalo. I had, I had uh, Dallas and the Chargers, and I had uh, Tampa and Cleveland. Mm. Uh, what else do we have here? Donovan had Green Bay and the Titans, and he had Dallas and KC. Ricky Williams picked uh, Tampa and KC again. Or he said the Giants in New England, or the Vikings and the Bills. He was he was high that night for real. Yeah, he was on some shit. Who else? Giants, got the Giants. Ron? He was high that night for real. Here's Ron. Ron. Ron said Green Bay versus Buffalo or Tampa versus KC. Rocco, Rocco, Rickelli, or Ian was San Fran versus Cleveland or San Fran versus Buffalo. Uh, we got some other little notes here. I think people are picking like dark horse teams. Uh, My pick with Ace. No, I don't have you on here. You weren't. You didn't. You didn't show up. It's hard to get hold of. Hey, I got. I got some breaking news from Adam Scheffler. Dennis Our had a fire is out of the Jaguars. Get out of here. He's over. Who? What? Let me hey, see no. this shit. No, it's not. Oh, what? it is. Oh, he's right. Oh. oh, oh. What? what you call it? Yes, yeah, one of my friends, uh, D1 Tally, he shared it on his his page, and I clicked yeah. out share the page. And it's like it's official. Whoa. Yeah, he's out. Wait, who's out? Fire this ass tonight! Oh, Meyer. Wow! Wow! Uh, God, God did not say that. Unless you might, unless you might have to go back and TikTok that shit. I'm gonna have to go back and TikTok that shit. You hear what I said, didn't you? I said after all this shit, I would be surprised. Hey, I picked the Jaguars. I picked the Jaguars. All right, even after this ball game, I'll be damned. All right, here I got a couple of dark horse uh, things that were said uh, for some of these guys that are in attendance. Dennis, one of your dark horse uh, comments was that the Patriots would be in the playoffs and have over eight wins. You look to be right, right now, currently. Uh, see, see, uh, where the fuck is he at? Damn, he ain't here. Fucking. Uh... Uh, somebody said. Uh, Dennis also said Jared Goff would have a better season than Carson Wentz. Yeah, I was high that night. <laughs> yeah, that he, he did say Damn. that the Saints. He Damn. did say the, he did say the Saints also would uh win a division. Yeah. Dennis he did say I that. was high again that night. Uh, Ethan actually, Ethan's is actually uh I don't know how you guys want to take this, but Ethan said that he thought Daniel Jones would be better than Cam Newton. So obviously, this was Damn. talked about in March. So this was before Cam was even cut by the Patriots. Yeah, so I will say he won that one. Uh, what else we got here? A couple. Of, Ron said that the Giants will win a division and Atlanta will win a division. Uh, yeah, he, he always has. Uh, Dalton had picked the Jags to be in the playoffs. <laughs> he picked the Giants to be in the playoffs. And I fucking spoke too soon, huh, Ace? Yeah, you sure well, did. We know you. We know you had the wrong cheeseburger. Okay. Ethan said that the Chargers would win. <laughs> yeah, he had, had cheeseburger. He said the Jaguars is gonna be in the playoffs. Ethan said that the Chargers would be under seven games, one, and that uh, the Giants would be over eight games. Dallas said that the Chargers would make the playoffs, and Dallas also said that Jacksonville would make the playoffs. Yeah. I also Is said, that, I uh, Dallas, I also Dallas said, that Jacksonville would make the playoffs. Right. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I also yeah. said that uh, I said the Jags would win over eight, and the Texans would win over eight. And that didn't. Oh it was also high. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. That's. That's what happened when you do those things. You got to do this in March. Uh, Ricky, Ricky actually said that the Bengals would have ten wins and be in the playoffs, and then he picked the Texans to win the division. Yeah, he's, he's high. <laughs> I picked the Rams. Uh, and then there was we like, can't hear you, Eric. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta unplug your mic and plug it back in. See, that's what he gets when he asks guys why he picked the Cardinals last week against the Rams. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, no. see, that's all better. Right. That's I all said we'll from the get go the Rams would be in the playoffs, and I also had predicted that I could possibly see the Rams playing the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I didn't. You weren't. You, weren't, you wasn't there that night, though. It was hard to get oh, there. I don't got you down here that day. I just had who was oh, in the field. I could have swore I gave you my pick for that. Yeah, no, I didn't. Whoever was there that day, that's because that's the second year in a row we did it. Last year we did it too. And uh, who was right? Oh, Ethan picked the Super Bowl correctly, right? I think so. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, you know, had, here's something that got Bucks, my attention. Something Bucks, Buck said earlier. I had Bucks in Kansas City, 35-31 in Super Bowl last year. Yeah, I think Ethan, when we did our Zoom, he uh, he was the one who called Kansas City and Tampa for our uh, 
Her, yeah. Cause this is the second year doing it. So yeah, he I will it. say this, my, I think before the uh, season started, I had the bucks against the Browns because the Super Bowl was being held in LA. Right. And they, used, they used to be called the LA, 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 uh, LA Browns or some shit like that. I forget what it, Cleveland, Cleveland Rams. That's what it was. And then they moved and then they moved to Cleveland for the Browns or whatever. So I got a feeling that the Browns would make it back just based on that defense of theirs. But yeah, how's that working tell, out for you? As you can tell, uh, Baker has not been the, uh, right. has not been the answer. So I can't see the Browns actually getting there unless, uh, unless a miracle takes place. Um, can I ask yeah. you a question? Bill? Yeah. Better team right now in the NFL. Patriots or the Chiefs? Oh, I think the Chiefs. I would have okay. to say the Chiefs. Yeah, I would go with yeah. the Chiefs. Offense, man. Offense. Mac Jones, I mean, you got to think about it. You got Mac Jones back here. When's the last time you've seen a, a rookie quarterback take a team to the Super Bowl? Big Ben's the only one I can remember. But, but uh, I'm going to tell you this part right here. Um, Buck Flair, your calling last night might have been perfect. Might have been spot on. You saying that uh, uh, Bry- Byron Edwards? Am I, am I saying his name right? Byron Leftwich. My fault. Byron, Byron Leftwich. Byron Leftwich. Byron, Byron Leftwich is going to the Jaguars as the new head coach. Yeah. That was a yeah. Perfect prediction. Me that because coach. if anybody knows how to deal with Jacksonville and be a superstar quarterback, it's Byron Leftwich. No, yeah. no, dude. And actually, yeah. Ada told me she wanted Brian Leftwich as the Jaguars head coach. Now, do you guys change your pick because the coach got fired? Because you know how that shit usually goes, right? No, nah, we say I pick uh, Jacksonville. I, so I, I, got Jacksonville. <laughs> I, I got got Jacksonville. Jacksonville. <laughs> I got Jacksonville. It don't need to change my. Well, for us, Houston, <laughs> I picked Houston, but uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm still sticking. You gonna change it now, Will? You gonna change it? Nah, no, nah, I'm gonna, no, nah, I'm gonna still stick with Houston because you know you got a guy, you got the what's his face is coming in now. Uh, Charlie He's, Strong, has he become the head coach now? No, it's uh, somebody else. Uh, who did I have a different name? Is it Schottenheimer? No. Brian oh, Schottenheimer? Brian Schottenheimer got, got an opportunity? It's, it's one of these guys that – it's one of these guys – it's Darrell Bevel. <coughs> oh, Darrell Bevel. Bevel. He used to be the old uh, head coach before, I believe. He was with the uh, – Seattle as the defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator. He, he he's one over to a, I thought he was a head coach somewhere. He's one of the guys who Urban Meyer just said was a loser last week, and now he's got a head coaching job. Yeah, he's a head coach. Well, so, do they get rid of Urban loser. Meyer's entire coaching uh, staff? No, they'll just wait till the end of the season. I told you guys at the show, I said, do not be surprised if Shaka Khan <laughs> fucking gets rid of his ass. <laughs> you know what's funny? This up. is something Dalton and I actually discussed before the show. We were t- talking that he's not an NFL coach, and there's the possibility he's going to get canned. He yeah. doesn't belong in the NFL. He He's not. NFL caliber yeah, level. We're, we're he gonna belongs tick, in college. We're gonna TikTok mine because I said it when I made the pick. He's either gonna get left at halftime or maybe before the game. <laughs> oh, and Buck, you TikTok said Kansas City's not a top five defense. I don't think that they're gonna keep James. Kansas City ain't a top five defense. Kansas City's, Kansas City's not a top five defense. Hell no. In the last six games, they've only given up 65 points while scoring yeah. 163. You got to look at it as a whole, not just the last six. They were they yeah. were well, getting murdered. I'm they well were, aware of what happened the in the first played. seven games. They Who the hell they played? Murdered. Raiders twice? Raiders twice. Okay. And, uh, they put up 89 points on the Raiders in the two games. That's, played, that's half they, the damn points you just they, mentioned, God damn it. They played, they <laughs> I'm well Denver. aware of that. They played Denver. Come on, yeah, no. They played. They played Denver. They played uh, Green they played Bay. Green Bay without Aaron Rodgers. It was yeah, that game was. Seven. What was that score? Ten to seven. That didn't matter. Thirteen to seven. Thirteen yeah. to seven. Yeah. Because in the beginning of the year, they were ranked 31st because I was saying it a lot for about six weeks how they were horrible. They I were, just can't it, believe this is like all over the news now. It's funny just seeing Urban Meyer up there and Chef so, talking about it on the news. So is the, is the kicker responsible for it? Because as soon as he said he kicked him, now all of a sudden he got the boot. Was well, that, that's was what that, I said. Shaka Khan wasn't going to put up with that shit. He was going to get rid of his ass. Was that the final straw right there, huh? I think it was because he didn't want to pay them fines. He didn't want to pay that fine. He's trying to do what's right. He said, I got to do what's right. So I got to get rid of a Urban. And, you know, kid. Urban, you know, getting fired, you know, he's, he's got probably some kind of contract where he might be able to just sit at home for a while. <laughs> you know, that's the thing about when you get fired, you know, these guys, uh, 
these guys will sit there for you know a year or two yeah. and get paid and, and not even take a coaching job. But so where does Urban Meyer go from here? I don't think he goes anywhere. I think he goes back to that restaurant and fucking gets them young chicks on his lap again. <laughs> you know what, Buck? I'm, that's, that's, it's very possible. That's what I would be doing. Shit. I own a restaurant in fucking Ohio State. I'd be right there in Ohio State. If you've never been to Ohio State. Oh, who's next? Bro? Speaking of college, what do you think about the coach from Oklahoma coming to USC? Mm. Lincoln Riley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they said uh, USC. Uh, they're bringing him over now. That USC is going to be a much better team as a whole with him after the firing of the last coach. Ooh. He's a good recruiter. I know he's taking some of his recruits over there to USC. So uh, he should have went to the NFL, if you ask me. Yep. Who oh, by the way, Buckfire, I just find out Daryl Bever. He'll be the interim head coach of the Jaguars. Who? <laughs> Daryl Bever. <laughs> Terrell Bell. Yeah, yeah I just looked up. Seattle Seahawks, yeah. Yeah, I remember he was the interim head coach for the Lions. Too. Lions, that's what it was. I knew he was the head coach at one time. And that's crazy. They get him. Yeah, this, I mean, this is a meaningless game. So, yeah, clear house. Yeah, start yeah. moving forward. You got to move forward now. Do you think if Jacksonville had more wins, he'd still be fired? Yeah, look at all them shenanigans he's got going on. True. Everybody? Many shenanigans. Let, let's say if Jacksonville was 500 right now, would he be fired still, or would they wait till the end of the year? Many shenanigans. If they were 500, he wouldn't be fired. God damn it. If he was 500, he wouldn't got fired. Yeah, because he wouldn't be doing all that dumb shit. His team would be – he'd be more focused on putting his team in position to win. Yeah. Do you think Trevor Lawrence throws for 400 yards at all this season? No. I got to see James Robinson get some ball carries first. I say that? no. He might, he I might say get no. 400 yards this week. I say no. Because, <laughs> play Houston. Uh, I say no because he has not been developed at all this whole season. He's the same Trevor Lawrence as he was week one. He's no, Fair point. No, right. Definitely not wrong. And I actually believe that that's part of the reason why they fired Urban Meyer, not just for the shenanigans, but it's a combination of all of it. He he just wasn't doing his job. That, that's it. He just was not doing his job. Period. He didn't do his job when he got hired. He didn't hire any damn NFL fucking uh, you know, talent. Yeah, he hired the whole, I was shocked when I saw you posted that. What's that, that? None, of his, none of his coaching staff had any NFL experience. Yeah, yeah. Charlie Strong, a uh, college boy. What? Yeah, yeah Charlie Strong, he's the coach for my team because I'm a Longhorns fan. He's the coach for Longhorns. Yeah. Ooh, that's crazy. And he, and he was the assistant head, and he was the assistant head coach. Uh, I think he was assistant head coach and offensive coordinator. Yeah, he's Charlie Strong is assistant head coach and a linebacker's coach. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. Oh, <God>. so- <laughs> oh geez. <laughs> I just looked up something funny for Jacksonville really quickly. So – I know they've got Houston this week, but this is their remaining schedule. They're at home against Houston. They're at the Jets. They're at the Patriots and then back home against Indianapolis. Here's what's funny. No, here's what's funny about this. The games against Houston, New York, and Indianapolis, the ticket prices are as low as $14, $15, and $12. (laughs) The game against New England, tickets as low as $113. Wow. That's crazy. That is, man. <laughs> it's at New England. Oh, boy, that's why it's high, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're going to get killed by New England. Man, if they fuck around and beat New England, boy, oh, my God. Oh, you know what? I'm benching. If Matt Jones loses to Trevor Lawrence, ooh. <laughs> Usually you get a team like that, I guess they coach fight, and then all of a sudden they, they got a new, you know, they revive, they got new energy. Who do you think will have more passing yards in that game, Mac Jones or Trevor Lawrence? Yeah, it depends. I mean, I can't say because I don't know if they're all going to play with COVID and everything happening. We'll see. Well, yeah, I'll, I can't say it right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, Matt Jones has to throw more than, what, 12, 19 yards than he did in the last game he played? Yeah. And I'm sure uh, this misses his uh, his brother, Nelson, no catching Aguilar. 
<laughs> so who's the coach? Who's the coach moving forward, boys? Who's it going to be? Tabo? Trevor Lawrence. I'm kidding. <laughs> Dabble. Matt uh, 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 is going to be Dabble. Moles. Eric the enemy. Somebody just Ooh. said uh, Cowboys should hire the- Urban Meyer right away. <laughs> oh, who has the most NFL experience over in Jacksonville right now? Who? Uh, Brian Leftwich. Jim Byron Leftwich right now currently still with uh, Tampa. Yeah. Well, Daryl Daryl Bevins has, has the most uh, NFL experience uh, as far as that goes, and then you got uh, Brian Schottenheimer. He's on the uh, staff too as well. And that's well, about it. Everybody else, job. everybody else is either from college or something like that. Well, you got to give yeah. someone a job and try to figure something out, or else yeah, Jacksonville's really just like gonna it. play horrible the rest of the year. That's what I'm saying. Like that's when I said, uh, the guy from uh, the Cardinals, he uh, he put a lot of NFL guys around him. That's why he's having the success that he's having right now. He's got, he's got a lot of NFL experience around him. Crazy man. Yeah. All right, that's the games of the week. Yeah. Anybody else got anything to say? No, nah, we're gonna get a body here. Uh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for tuning in. Please make sure that y'all click on the Ignorant Thinker podcast and hit your notifications so you know each and every time that we come on with a show. Sorry, we was late today. I was at the Sixers game having a ball <laughs> until they fucking lost. But other than that, uh, like I said, thank y'all for coming out. God bless. Good night. <laughs> Woo!